Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. Today I'm going to be playing Hollow Knight God Soul for my birthday because I decided this was a good idea for some reason. <laughs> Welcome in everyone. Um, so for those who don't know what God Soul is, it's one of the hardest mods ever made for Hollow Knight and it has a variety of things that make the game significantly more difficult. So first off, there's no healing. You can only heal at benches or if you die, which is obviously going to happen a lot. Uh, every enemy is duplicated, uh, usually like five plus times, including bosses, although bosses are duplicated less, but they have increased health to compensate. Uh, there's unique challenges for every area. So for example, in Forgotten Crossroads, which we'll get to immediately, Whenever an enemy dies, it explodes, and the explosions deal two damage, and you can't heal, remember. There's also challenges like the floor is lava or projectiles coming at you off screen, etc. Uh, Shaman Stone is nerfed to five charm notches, so basically it's unusable, <laughs> which is one of the best tools we'd have in the early game otherwise. Soul capacity is nerfed. Um, I think it's nerfed to one third. Also, of course, spells are incredible in the early game, so they had to nerf them. Um, and Desolate Dive and Descending Dark. When you cast them, they expend all of your soul. So I think they still cost one third of your soul to, ca to uh, cast. But if you have full soul and use it, it'll use all of it. So, yeah. Lots of fun stuff with God Soul. Um, I tried this early last year, and <laughs> there were so en so many enemies on screen that my PC was just not able to handle it, and the game was crashing. So I've got a new PC, and I've tested it, and I believe the mod works. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get right into the game. Um, it's going to be lots of fun. It's going to be very challenging. We might not be able to finish today, but I am going for true ending. Um, only like five people have ever beat God's Soul true ending, so hopefully we become number six. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is that this is going to be my birthday stream. So the thing I'm doing for my birthday stream... I don't know if I can do like a super long stream because I do have a back injury still and I'm recovering from it, so I don't want to sit for super long. But the thing I want to do is for every membership, regardless of tier and memberships, for those who don't know, it's like subscriptions on Twitch. Uh, it's just like the YouTube equivalent. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fames, for uh, showcasing that. <laughs> um, for every 15 memberships, regardless of tier, I'm going to be raffling a postcard and Things sticker just pack. Get to 20 memberships. Thank you very much, fans. I really appreciate it. Super kind of you. Um, yeah. The raffle, there's more information in the description below the video, but uh, basically TLDR is... Uh, Raffle's going to happen on Discord. Uh, it's going to be members only, but lots of people are getting memberships right now, of course. Uh, and anyone can join the raffle if they're willing to give me their address. <laughs> so yeah, don't join the raffle if you're not willing to do that. But I'm not going to use it for any nefarious purposes, I promise. And thank you so much, Just Casual, for the $7 Just as well. Just Casual donated $7. Happy birthday, Really appreciate fire. it. <laughs> thank you all so much. Um, I am way behind on chat, I apologize. But hey and welcome in, everyone, and thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. Uh, let me know if the alerts are too loud. I know last time I streamed, the alerts were insanely loud, and I did not realize that until after the stream. Um, and I also realize whenever someone gifts multiple subs, there's individual alerts for each one. And I can't turn that off with YouTube stream alerts for some reason. I can do it on Twitch, but not YouTube. But yeah, uh, welcome in everyone. Hope y'all are having a great day. We're going to have a very fun stream. 
and I am looking forward to getting my ass whooped by this mod. <laughs> and here, of course, King's Pass is the tutorial, so they've changed it for God's soul to explain that healing is for the weak, and this mod is for not for the weak. So we're not able to heal while we're playing this at all. We don't even unlock it at a later point. We just cannot heal. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be lots and lots of fun. <laughs> and I'm excited to be able to send out postcards and stickers again because I've got like... I built up a stockpile of hundreds of stickers and they're all... Uh, by like amazing artists in the community like Rubber Ducky and Fly Sky High and you know I'm just excited to be able to send them out. It's a lot of fun. Uh yeah so we're about to get to the challenging part of the mod. It starts off right off the bat kind of difficult. So our goal is going to be to get as much power-ups as possible um, which is easier said than done because even navigating the world is <laughs> quite difficult. <laughs> but one of the things that we can get pretty early on is a mask shard. It's just kind of difficult. Normally we do a Vengefly pogo, but, um, oh god. <laughs> There's some extra obstacles. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to... Oh, damage tank here. Got the grub. See, this is a little bit more tricky because whenever an enemy explodes, all the other enemies explode near it. So it causes like a chain reaction. Oh! Oh, they died in one hit. I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Trust me, guys, this is fun. <laughs> hey, uh, holy crap. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, thanks a lot, Alice, and thanks a lot, Brian, for the memberships. I almost said subs again. <laughs> hey, Marion, welcome in. Thanks for the happy birthday. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Noah. Hey, Gandalf. So yeah, um, you really want to avoid getting hit as much as possible, <laughs> because normally you can kind of get hit in Hollow Knight and just heal up afterward. We do not have that option. And it seems like hitting any enemy, I didn't realize it, but hitting any enemy in Forgotten Crossroads just blows them up in one hit, it seems. So that's awesome. <laughs> Makes things a little bit more challenging. But yeah, last time I tried this, it was early last year, they've made it more difficult since then because they nerfed Shaman Stone and they nerfed... Wait, no, they, they actually reduced the nerf on Shaman Stone, but it's still unusable. But they did increase the nerf on um, Descending Dark and Desolate Dive. <laughs> Everything just explodes. Hey, Loki. Uh, just practice individual bosses for the Pantheons. Use... Oh, God. Use the Hall of Gods. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Yo, Vampy. Thank you for the happy birthday. <laughs> and hey, Marcus. Thank you for the happy birthday, too. Hope you're both doing well. So, I'd say I want to get Shaman Stone as quickly as possible, but the fact that it takes five Charm Notches means that it's probably never going to be viable. So, like, my early game focus is probably on getting a Mask Shard and just getting Vengeful Spirit. The reason why I'm saving Grubs. Jesus.
The reason why I'm saving grubs is because you need five of them to get a mask shirt. Other than that, maybe it's worth getting Grub Song. I think Grub Song would actually be pretty helpful. Of course, Grub Song is more helpful if you are healing and therefore taking more damage. Because you'll get more soul, but it might still be pretty nice. Grub Song is just a net. Pretty. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> Grub Song is a great charm. Oh my god. Oh, I took damage already. What? <laughs> why, why are the False Knight clones already down? No, I'm not I'm not going to question it. Oh, oops. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I feel like I should leave. Oh. Oh, I could... I, I don't think I can kill them unless I damage tank back up. That's okay, I'm gonna go get Vengeful Spirit. Screw this. <laughs> oh, you were at TwitchCon, Marcus? You got the con flu? Oh shit. Glad you had a good time, though. Thank you, Celeste and Loki. <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be raffles, so for every 15 memberships... Holy crap, we're at 73? When the hell did that happen? Jesus. Every 15 memberships, we'll be doing a postcard and sticker raffle on the Discord. Um, and I'm really excited to do so because I've got a ton of stickers stockpiled and the postcards are awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not going to God Home Ending. I'm going to True Ending. <laughs> hey, Kindergartist. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thank you for the happy birthday. So, wh what is this? <laughs> Why is there box music? <laughs> this is new. <laughs> oh my god. I was lagging so badly. Dude, there's not Baldur's at like every tunnel, is there? There totally are. Oh my god. They made Ancient Mound impossible. <laughs> I did not want this. Wait, do these enemies blow up? Okay, they don't. Good. Oh, oh, I was reading chat. Oops. Not to blame chat, but... Oh, another change is that, um... You actually have Fury equipped at all times. Yo, thanks so much, Cube. I appreciate it. Do the Venge flies blow up? Nope. Okay, good. Maybe... Can I... Get over here and get the lifeblood? Might be a good idea. I... Oh! What? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, I, thought the, it, I, I thought I would just, like, delete my save or something. I was so confused. <laughs> Wait, why is it playing the title music? Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. Ancient Bound is very different. <laughs> very, very different. Well, I guess your maximum soul capacity doesn't change. I guess I made that up. Oh, but now that I've died, I've lost a bunch of soul. That's not great. The lag definitely makes this harder, unfortunately. <laughs> It's not, like, horrible lag, it's just it's just enough to throw you off a little bit. You broke it, yeah. Already broke the mod. Okay, this, uh, this should be... Oh, I need to go get my shade to the left here, don't I? Oh, even the shades are duplicated. Oh my god. I'm lagging. 
Help! Stop spitting boulders. I lagged so hard there. I didn't know when to time my jump because of all the lag. Dude died so hard to kick them out of the game. <laughs> sure did. I need to be really careful not to take damage. But the boulders kind of roll random amounts. I just need to kill, make sure they die as they spawn. Oh my god. What? Jesus. I don't know when to time the inputs because there's so many freeze frames. I don't know how long they're going to last. Well, being at 2 HP here is not ideal. I'm getting out, don't worry. Actually, I don't think this is, like, that difficult. I just need to play a bit safer because, like, I need to account for the fact that I can't react to everything with all the lag frames. As long as I do that, I'll be fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Uh, the bounce on those boulders is so weird because two of them, like, hit each other in the air. Okay, don't worry. I got this. Good old title screen music once again. Oh my god, and I can't see the boulders because there's so many foreground objects. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just gonna die and respawn. That way I'll get my shade as well. Continually getting sent back to the title screen. How do you use stickers? Uh, you're probably thinking of super stickers, which is like a donation thing. It's just like super chats, basically. It's kind of weird. Areas at hard. Just need to adjust my playstyle a little bit. Oh my god, that was fast. The lag, Jesus Christ. Soul. Okay, that helps. Gotta figure out the speedrun strats for when I speedrun this mod. There we go. See, that was easy. Only took one damage. <laughs> you can... you can bongo now. Love that emote. You know, Ducky made that just for fun one day. <laughs> Thanks so much, Marion. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the five memberships. If you got sniped, thank your gifter. Let's 
So these enemies, once again, they blow up, so I have to be careful again. Okay. Hopefully the boulders in here don't blow up, because that would be kind of annoying. Okay, that's normal. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's more than two. Okay. That's, oh my god, they do blow up. Why? Just casual donated five dollars. I know it's said in every Hollow Knight video, but yeah, seriously, it cannot be overstated how beautiful and atmospheric all the music in this game is. Almost got killed by that while I was reading the message. <laughs> Thanks a lot, just casual, and thanks a lot, Juving. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, the music in this game is amazing. That's the number one thing I'm most hyped... Oh, I forgot about this. Most hyped for with Silk Song. The music. So this is the Floris... Floris Lava section. Oh man, the lag definitely makes this tougher. I want to make it to the bench. Okay, thank god. <laughs> A brief respite. <laughs> thank you, Marion. Yeah, it's also um, Blue's birthday as well today, so make sure to go... Um, Wish Blue a happy birthday if you haven't. He's actually streaming right now, so go... Go wish Blue happy birthday. Hey, thanks a lot, Dwarfoot. <laughs> Hope you are doing well. Remember the last Scott Solvod? <laughs> One of the OGs. I'm actually not sure if the uh, Fool Eater is your soul or not. Ah, jeez, almost got hit. Oh, okay. I should definitely get the bench. But I'm already up here. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, let's go get this lifeblood. Oh, I didn't get a pogo. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there's so many health bars. Well, we killed the Moss Knights, so next time we can just skip them. So even if we die, there's still progress. But we are going to make it all the way to the Staga Bench. First try. Watch this shit. The Fool Eater spawning causes a bit of lag every single time. You bastard mod, why is that there? Actually, why is that there? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll go get the bench. <laughs> oh, I can just pogo to the left using the fool leaders. <laughs> it's the best saw. That's not the best saw. I do not appreciate that saw. <laughs> the What do I have to do? Oh my god, that hit me. I don't think I get invincibility. Oh yeah, I do. Nice. Not invincibility, but they stomp spawning. Oh. Jesus. We're, are we good? Come on, stop spawning. I'm trying to bench. This is rude. You pieces of shit. 
<laughs> Second best saw, no it's not. <laughs> that was pretty good. Platforming. Oh uh but oh it didn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, I should have used invincibility monitor. Benches are not allowed. Can't heal, can't bench, and you go to the title screen every time you die. Oh god, I, I should have dodged that. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I guess we might need to kill Vengefly King first, and then the Sawblade disappears. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of, because those are the only two paths to Hornet. Okay, th this is actually even worse from the bottom of the screen. One HP is not the best here. But maybe we can kill Benchfly King with one HP. <laughs> Copium, probably not. I <laughs> feel like overcompensate for every jump because the game's lagging. Uh, yeah. I should have tried to go to the right of the Benchflies and pogo off them, I think. Is there a way to get rid of the lava floor? No. This, uh, this is here for the entirety of Green Path. At least up to Hornet. Oh, I didn't see that one. I'm getting lifeblood, actually. I'm waiting for two Hornets. We... Uh, would consider ourselves blessed if we had just two. I think it's three. Oh, I've actually got Fury like this. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> I did not intentionally drop to one health for Fury, but... It's gone. <laughs> okay, this was... The green path was not too hard. Except for the oblobbles. Oh my god. Although, we still might take green path to get to Fog Canyon. Jesus, that sounds like a lot of Venchalize. Oh. Let's take a breather. I wonder how the hive looks. <laughs> okay, see ya, Marion. Thanks for hanging out and for the support. All right. I don't have enough geo for the toll. God damn it! You can breathe when you're dead. Breathers are not allowed. to iframe to get this. Got it. Had to use inventory tactics to prevent the knockback. You can actually prevent knockback from having your inventory open. But, um... Yeah, usually I'd try not to do that. Uh, okay. Hornet? I, I remember Hornet's really tough. So I'm actually going to try to get a bit of Geo, and I'm going to aim to save Sly, and what am I going to do? Get Mask Shards. Because Hornet is, like, very tough. Ghoul Eaters do give a bit of soul. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I tried to dodge that. Oh no. Damn it. Pain and suffering. <laughs> Don't be stuck on it like you were last time. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. I think getting extra health. Let me just jump over those. <laughs> I think getting one extra mask and getting lifeblood before I try the fight will help a lot. see myself. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, I can get the tram, or tram? Stag at least, right now. Yeah, I remember... Fuck off. <laughs> Maybe I really should have used invincibility monitor. Uh, I need, I actually need to use invincibility to interact with that. Text storage. Oh, it stopped. What? Why did it stop then, but not the other times? Yeah, I probably could install it. While I have this bench, let me grab that real quick. One moment. Just gotta restart the game now. For my own sanity, yeah, good goal. Sanity is important. Should probably try to enjoy my birthday stream too. <laughs> oh, I got it already. Thank you, the dwarf. Thanks, Loren. I appreciate it. All right, we got it. So I'm gonna go around crossroads and try to collect Geo. Get. I need I need two more grubs. This is a normal thing, by the way. What's happening on the screen is just preloading rooms to apply all the different effects, which I don't know all of them, so don't spoil me. I know most of them, but there's a few that I don't know. <laughs> Only you would fix something this painful for your birthday. <laughs> Uh, probably true. See, I was planning that I would stream God's Soul on Sunday, but I got, like, no sleep for three nights in a row. Oh, I don't want to kill those. So I decided that was probably a bad idea to try and stream God's Soul with no sleep for three nights in a row. Um, and... I was planning to stream today, anyway, for my birthday, and I didn't know what I was going to do, so I was like, okay, I'll just do the God Soul stream on my birthday. <laughs> and I actually managed to get some sleep the past two nights, so that's good. Oh my god. Got pure completion yesterday, nice. Congrats. Okay, see you, Dark Tetra. Thanks for the happy birthday. Uh, I want to get that Geo Rock, but I don't want to die to these Vengeflies. Okay. 
<laughs> we got the Geo Rock. Success. Those two were Oro and Motto. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ouch. So do I kill Moloch for a Mask Shard? Because getting enough Geo for one of one more of Sly's Mask Shards is going to take forever. I could, oh god, potentially, I could potentially get the Mask Shard from uh, Noise's place, whatever it's called, I forget. Yeah, thanks so much, uh, Very Blueberry. I appreciate it. Grind Moss Knights, uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know about, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's going back. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> why, why is it doing this? Oh, oh, I'm locked out. Oh, but I can kill it from outside. All right. This is not cheating. This is allowed. <laughs> the other gross mother's just asleep. <laughs> oh, it's almost dead. Okay. We we did it. <laughs> Perfect. Optimal Grassmother fight. Damageless, by the way. Oh, thanks so much, Gandalf, <laughs> for the 18 months. Goddamn. I appreciate it. I think I can just re enter the room at this point. Wait, is the gate gonna open? Yeah, I'm gonna re enter the room. <laughs> Need to do them both? No. Wait. No, oh, see. All done. <laughs> Good fight. Now we can... Oh my... How do I fail that fireball skip? Come on, dude. That, that was terrible. Okay. Maybe we need to shade skip. Do we even need to get to Salubra? Not right now. But getting the extra charm notch will eventually be nice. Creative username. Welcome. Oh, I almost died because of that. Okay, so I need to go and get the mask shard from Sly. I'm missing one grub, so I'm gonna use bench warp. Bench warp's allowed for this. It's just kind of. Oh, I didn't even get the hot springs bench or dirt mouth. Why didn't I? I guess I can snag to dirt mouth. Why didn't I get the dirt mouth bench? I'm using a mod called Hue Shifter. It just changes the colors a little bit. Makes things look a little bit different. <laughs> Yo, thanks so much, Gandalf. I appreciate that. Enjoy the sub, big lad. Uh, so I'm just going to get the 150 mask shard, I think. Uh, Stalwart Shell is 
Hmm. Is it any good for this mod? Stalwart shell is nice if you're like if you have like a lot of nail damage. So you can kind of like trade some hits back when you get hit. Just like one extra hit with stalwart shell. I wonder what Moloch is like. If Moloch is the same, then I can definitely do it. If there's two Moloch's, I think I can do it. If there's three, that's a little bit sketchy. But I will collect the Geo here, either way. There's a Geo Rock up at the top, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rune. I appreciate it. Oh, I almost took damage. What <laughs> are infected crossroads gonna be like? Oh god. Oh, there's a bunch of them. That's okay. More soul. Uh. Oh, there's only two. Uh. Oops. Oh, I almost found a spot to dodge that. Uh, I got kind of close. Two is doable. Definitely a little bit tricky, but I really want the Mask Shard. And I can get the Mask Shard um, below the Hot Spring. And I can get Sly Mask Shard and Grub Mask Shard. And that'll be five. And that'll set me up nicely for Hornet. QOL, uh, I think it's Rando, actually, that does that. Don't quote me on that, though. <laughs> if they gave a mask shirt each, that would, that would be a welcome change. Uh, going over top of them is, like, impossible because you can't, like, time your movement, <laughs> like, I actually dodge one. Hmm. No, this is not randomized. Not at all. The Geo Rocks aren't like insta kill in this one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, going in with full soul will help, but well, I mean, my shade is over there, so can't even get full soul on the way. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go down and uh, go to the hot spring. Could I... Mm, could I skip this and get... I could get Sly's other Mask Shard. But that costs, like... Is it 500? 500 Geo is a lot. Because uh, getting Geo in this mod is a little bit trickier. But it might be preferable to trying to kill Moloch. Yo, thanks a lot, Ben. I appreciate it. Just casual donated five dollars. After you complete this, the next challenge is God Soul All Bindings for True Ending. Wait, did that just stomp the TTS? 
I, I actually had the stream elements uh, overlay window in the background. Oops. Thanks a lot, though, Just Casual. I appreciate it. We are doing it. God Soul All Bindings. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Is happening. Yeah, there's a there's a toggle that you have to use on YouTube, right? Where is that toggle? I've never actually uh, used it before myself. Okay, thanks a lot for hanging out. Thanks for that. Happy birthday. Let's try this again. We can maybe do this. Very good luck. Ah, oh, fuck. I played really bad. Oops. Join gift setting allow. Okay. So it's under the join button. I should have had that one. For sure. I got kind of lucky early on in that fight, and then I just played bad. <laughs> Too much pressure. Um... Wait, I should get my shade back. <laughs> you know, at first I thought I wasn't losing Geo when I died, but now I am? I don't know. Well, I definitely don't need the mask to kill him. Because I, like, almost got him. It would be helpful. Uh... Let's go to Dirtmouth and get the one mask shard from Sly. And I want to see how much the second one costs, because I think it's 500. Right? Is it 300? <laughs> Console all randomized with grass. Grass randomizer is like the best meme. Uh, okay, let's go get... Let's just get the ones that we can get. <laughs> and then it's probably going to be easier to farm 500 Geo than it will be to kill Moloch. Killing Moloch's maybe more fun. So I don't know. Oh, it's 550. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Thank you. Uh... Oh my god. That was kind of lucky. Yeah, <laughs> thanks so much, Shocker. Are the alerts not making noise anymore? Oops. Thank you very much. I appreciate the membership. <laughs> They do? Okay, good. Just like inaudible on my end for some reason. <laughs> good old technical problems. Not echoing? Okay, good. That is preferable. No destruction of background objects. Menderbug's Revenge. Classic mod. 
That was actually kind of fun. I would have finished that run if it weren't for teacher's archives being jank. Because, like, the those, like, little electric lumiflies at the top of teacher's archives, they can actually destroy a background object because they randomly float around. And if you leave them for long enough, they'll just randomly destroy one of the background objects. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just pure RNG. Oops. Back to the bench. My new favorite Hollow Knight boss is probably Mystic Samer from Pale Court. That's a super cool boss. But actually, there's a there's a modded boss that's releasing today that I helped uh, test a little bit. Um, and it's by Nick C01. It's the person who made uh, Absolute, Inferno King, Grim, and Corrupted Gin, which are both like really good modded bosses. They're some of the best modded bosses, in my opinion. Ah, I thought I was maybe out of range of that. Oops. You know, killing False Knight is going to get me 200 Geo, and I kind of want City Crest anyway, so maybe I should just kill False Knight. Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's releasing in like two hours, I think. <laughs> the trailer was from pre uh, Premiere, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be in two hours from now. I've also got a video ready to go. Oops. It's a pretty cool boss. I think it's like not as epic as the other bosses. Like, the other bosses are kind of like really long fights. This one's not quite as long. But it's still, like, a really fun boss. And it has some unique mechanics. Which you love to see. Oh, the hammer's glitched out again. Oh. Why didn't I expect that to happen? I only need to kill one of them. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, come on, dude. This guy's trapped. The one I chose to kill. Oh, come on. No! Come on, as if a shockwave came out at that exact moment. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shocker. I appreciate it. I am gonna try and kill False Knight, but I'm also gonna farm these along the way so I can, like, get some uh, Geo. I don't want to sit here and, like, just farm. Ah, oh, shit. But I'll farm on my way to False Knight. Thanks, Darkrai. So I guess the camera's messed up, like, every time here. Dude. Oh, it's... The enemy's dying that causes these uh, 
false night clones to die. You see that? So the bosses can be killed by explosions. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what is happening? It's a tower of false knights. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That was terrifying. No. I can use the- oh. Oh no, I didn't expect it to have the hitbox that far to the right. <laughs> We will get False Knight eventually. Don't worry. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, thanks a lot, Foxtail. for Path of Pain, uh, kind of depends on what you're struggling with. Blast Room, I assume? Okay, if I can lure the horn one to the left, or... Oh, never mind. That's okay, though. Actually, you know, I can just hit their body like this to keep them stunned. Just like that. That way they'll stay on the ground. <laughs> Using the false knight tower against them. Oh shit. Oh no, they're all up. They're all awake now. Okay, that last one, this one is dead. I just need to get it to do its rampage thing. Okay. We're good. Those ones are gonna wake up in like two seconds, but that's okay. We will run away. <laughs> thinking up ways to make it even harder. <laughs> uh, no Geo? Dude. Where's my Geo? Come on, man. <laughs> no Geo? I got ripped off. Exploding equals fun. Yep. Definitely. Uh, oops. Nothing. At least I got City Crest. Like, it wasn't a waste of time, but I was expecting some Geo. Would have been nice. But we can quickly farm some Geo just like this. It's uh, pretty quick. And then we can get the Mask Shard from Sly. Then we just need to rescue... Oops. And we just need to rescue... Oh, why did I do that? We just need to get the grub uh, to the left of the hot springs. Yo, Ty. Thanks a lot for the happy birthday. Welcome in. I keep exploding the enemies, and then I'm like, why did I do that? What and where is Blue Streaming on his Twitch channel? Okay. 
Go say, wait, do I still have it? Go say happy birthday to Blue. That's an order to everyone in chat, including non-members. So I just need to kill this like three more times, I think. Ouch. I was using Husk Guard to farm Geo in my casual playthrough and didn't realize they die in the infected crossroads. Oh no. <laughs> you lost your farming spot. The uh, Mushroom Ogres are kind of comparable for like an early game farm spot. Oops. Yeah, me and Blue share a birthday. We're both... Uh, July 11th, babies. We actually did a collab stream, I, was it last year? Not sure if it was last year or the year before. Once you get to my age, everything starts blurring together. I'm 34, by the way. A lot of people don't realize I'm an old, old bastard. Got back problems. <laughs> Got knee problems. Dinosaur moment, yep. <laughs> I'm the oldest gamer alive. Who <laughs> just complained about being old? What the heck? Yeah, once you get to 17, man, bones start creaking. Start forgetting things. Okay, now we can buy the mask shirt. My mom is watching and she thought you were 21. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. You're not old? I'm 34. I'm an old man, basically. Um, uh, where was I going to go? Oh, yeah. Grub to the left of Hot Springs. I've got back problems, Vampy. Chronic back pain. Well, it's not chronic yet, I think. Chronic pain is technically classified as like three months, right? So we're getting there. And, well, I guess it's not even really chronic pain, exactly, because I'm not in constant pain. <laughs> that's, that's an exaggeration. Yet. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's coming. Once I hit my 40s. You got back problems when you're 20. Read a book. It's called... Back Mechanic. Back Mechanic. Read that. It's uh, really helpful. Oh, I, I already got this. Uh, oh, I need to go to Grubfather. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to having to go to Grubfather. That's an injury. <laughs> Which my body is susceptible to because I'm extremely old. Arthritis in your toes? Oh my god. Back and neck problems at 16. Jesus. I'm sorry. It sucks. It's gonna tell me that I sit wrong? Uh, kinda, yeah. <laughs> Basically the book, instead of talking about like diagnosing your problem and trying to deal with the symptoms, it discusses more like the causes of the problem, which a lot of the time it is posture, yeah.
<clears throat> For me, I definitely had pretty bad posture, and also I would overwork myself, which causes back problems, <laughs> unsurprisingly. But there are good exercises um, to kind of like strengthen your core and stuff in the book. And they teach you ways to do them that are uh, back friendly, which a lot of stretches and stuff that you'll see online are not. <laughs> They're going to hurt your back even more. The other day I was buying wedding stuff with my mom. A random stranger was asking if I was the one getting married because I looked so young. My mom told her I was... Mom told her... I was 15, and I was like, no, what? <laughs> oh my god, your mom was just messing with people? That's pretty funny. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Okay, I think I'm ready for Hornet, though. Oh, whoops. Ideally... Wait, should I go and get Lifeblood Core? Or, not Lifeblood Core, Lifeblood Heart? I think it would probably be a good idea, right? Because that's going to give me two extra health for the fight. And it's only... It costs 220, doesn't it? Right? Did I get Salubra's Bench? I did not, because I failed the skip. That's okay. And he was so horrified for a moment. Oh my god. That's pretty funny. It is 220 for Lifeblood Heart, right? I'm not imagining that. Total Spinal Fusion? Uh, no. It's not so advanced that I would need surgery, for sure. I'm glad it worked for you, though. That's good. Back problems suck. I'm just gonna shade skip here, I think. That's okay. <laughs> a random lady, you were 15. It seems like so out of character <laughs> based off what I know of your mom. <laughs> so I was so surprised. I was reading that. I'm like, I have to be reading this wrong, right? <laughs> That's hilarious, though. So yeah, I'm just marrying off my 15-year-old child. Jesus Christ. Yeah, a better gaming chair. I have a pretty good chair. <laughs> my chair costs a lot of money. But it's not a gaming chair. It costs 250. That's okay. You can go farm the um, farm the ogre once more. Great husk. Wait, what are they called? Great husk sentry. My mom thinks she's funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I mean, it's funny that she'd say that. Mom, that makes you look bad, not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, I just bought Shaman Stone. Why did I buy... Of course I bought Shaman Stone. That's what I always buy. I just... <laughs> bought it without thinking. Now I need to farm more Geo, dumbass. <laughs> I can't enter that menu without buying Shaman Stone, I guess. Oh. Hope you all like Geo Farming. I have a nice gaming chair to help with my posture, and I sit on it sideways, <laughs> which has the opposite effect. It's not sound optimal, but understandable. 
It is good to switch up your posture every once in a while. Oh. You bastards. They don't want to hit those bench flies because they're going to explode and deal two damage to me. Noah, if you can get one of those nice office chairs um, secondhand, it's a really good idea because they're like pretty sturdy. So even if you get them secondhand, like they still might even be under warranty. Um, and they're gonna last a while regardless. Sometimes businesses will like uh, sell them after they've gone out of business. Oh my God. Where I live, I could not find any, unfortunately, so I had to buy one full price. But I think it's pretty worth it, especially if you work from home, because you can claim it as a tax expense, a tax deductible. Potentially. But I was, I was able to. We've got enough money, again. Now let's make sure we actually buy um, Lifeblood Heart. That's what we're getting. You know, Long Nail might actually not be bad either. Beware of bed bugs, yeah, definitely. You don't want to bring those into your house. Uh, I want to get the Charm Notch as well pretty soon. I just need one more charm, so once I get like 250 more Geo, I can get that. Or I could buy... I was thinking if I buy Steady Body, I'll be up to five charms and I can get a Charm Notch, but I could buy Long Nail and get the Charm Notch. And I could... I would actually probably use Long Nail as well. That would be helpful for Hornet. Like, it would actually help, because having a bit longer range on the Pogos is really nice for the uh, cool leaders. But I don't want to spend all stream just farming, so let's go back and give Hornet a couple attempts. Yo, thanks a lot, Mythic. I appreciate it. Excited for Mantis Lords. I am scared. But we can probably get, um, we can probably get Dive before we do Mantis Lords. Even though Dive is nerfed, I think it'll still be good and helpful. Come back. Get back here. Okay, good. Okay. Hopefully this is enough health for Hornet. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright. Wait, are there two hornets? Hey, two hornets isn't that bad. What am I doing? The... Health bars are not helping. <laughs> I need to, I need to disable this mod. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of getting in the way. <laughs> let's let's turn this off. Maybe. Oh, got it. Oh, 
I killed one. They nerfed Hornet. As before. Oh, we got upside down Hornet. <laughs> that was suitable. The rare upside down Hornet moment. <laughs> what? This looks great. <laughs> Working as intended. Yo, thanks a lot, Juicy Fruit. The health bars are for the bosses, but they were applying to every enemy on the screen for some reason. Like, obviously, the mod is not made to work with God's Soul, which is normal. Um, okay, I can't really get that. What am I doing? Oops. Oh. Okay, we survived. Phew. Last time Hornet took us two hours, so... Um, yeah. That was more reasonable, I think. Now we can go to Fungal Waste. <clears throat> but yeah, last time Hornet was like by far the toughest boss in the mod, so that's why I prepared for Hornet so much with Lifeblood Heart and everything, and it ended up being kind of overkill, but that's okay. Better to spend a bit extra time preparing than spending hours on a single boss. Thanks for the GG's. Turn off health bar, you die. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get Thorns of Agony because that's gonna count towards my uh, uh, the Charm Notch unlocks with Salubra. Juicy Fruit donated one dollar and ninety nine cents. <laughs> this mod though. Thanks a lot, Juicy Fruit. I appreciate it. I just realized we've got six postcards unlocked. I haven't been keeping track of it because I've been so focused on the game, but six postcards, that's awesome. I'm very excited to send those out. Yo, thanks a lot, Eltons. I appreciate it. Uh, why are... why... Oh, I tried to dash in between them. Why must there be so many of you? Oh, I forgot about this. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, good night, Just Casual. Thanks a lot for the support. Sleep well. Oh, shit. Well, thanks a lot, Alexander. I appreciate it. And keep in mind, anyone who gets a membership will be able to enter the raffle, even if you get it gifted to you. You just have to make sure you're in the Discord and you have your YouTube account connected to your Discord account, which you can do in the Discord settings. And after that, just give me a couple days and I will... Jesus Christ. This is terrifying. I don't I do not like this. They're still there. Why are they still there? I thought I Oh, all the geo's gone. <laughs> no. I could have used that geo. Yes, you can, Nate. Uh, just keep in mind if you're joining the raffle, you need to be uh, willing to give up your address. Not publicly, of course. <laughs> just I'll send a Google form if like to the winners, and um, and you'd have to submit it there. Massive Moss Charger. Truly the toughest boss of Hollow Knight. Tougher than Hornet, because I had died to it. I think I'm going to try and go through Stone Sanctuary 
to get the mask shard. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Oh, of course, geo chests are gone. Oh, I don't have Mantis Claw yet. So I can't get the Vessel Fragment. That's okay. What's the... The thing in Fungal is, um... There's saw blades. Like, kind of like the Mantis Petras, like what they shoot. That fly onto the screen, like, non-stop. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah, if you're a, if you're a miner, you yeah, don't post your address anywhere. Do not enter the raffle. Unfortunate. But uh yeah, best not to. I'll give you mine if you give yours. <laughs> Mm. It's not that I don't trust you, but probably not the best idea as a content creator. <laughs> no, I failed. That's okay. So, got a few more tries. Okay. That's pretty easy. Got the mask shard. I don't deserve to be in no raffle. That's not about deserving it. If you want to join, join. Happy to send postcards to anyone who wins. How do you enter the raffle when it's up? Um, I'll be using a Discord bot to do it. So basically, if you connect your YouTube account to your Twitch and you have a membership, or to your Twitch, to your Discord, and you have a membership, then um, you'll automatically be able to enter a secret channel where we will do the raffle. Uh, hmm, um, okay. Oh, boy. Ooh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, this is, uh, tricky. But I really want Howling Wraiths. Oh, boy. Let's see, that's the Saw Blades. Why does this have both effects in here? As if one isn't bad enough, it has the Fool Eaters and the Saw Blades. <laughs> Yo, Kadala. Welcome in. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't get up here. I don't have Claw. Well, I'm going back to the right. I should spend my Geo, because I'm going to die. Oh, boy. I'm so dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've i been playing this game quite a bit. And there's also plenty of people better at the game than me. Because, like, obviously my attention's focused a lot to content creation. Oh, wait, not... Wait, where am I going? Oh, yeah. No, I'm going the wrong way. Holy crap. I'm just autopiloting. I just wanted to get revenge on Massive Moss Charger. Why are the colors all whack? Uh, I'm using a mod called Hue Shifter. It's kind of make things look a little bit different for fun. I don't know about going this path. Uh, oh yeah, I, I tried to jump that way last time. It did not work. Mm, 
I might need to, uh, like, inventory drop to avoid things, I think. Actually, maybe Balter Shell would be good in this mod. <laughs> hey, Blue. Yo, what's up, everyone? Awkward moment when I have members only chat. <laughs> Yo, happy birthday, Blue. Everyone say happy birthday to Blue. It's Blue's birthday as well. Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Oh, the shade did not die. Oh. The, sh the shade did not die. <laughs> there goes my Geo. But thanks a lot for the uh, cross-platform raid. I appreciate it, Blue. And thanks for the 28 months. Jesus Christ. Hope you had a nice stream. I heard there was no Silk Song news. Very unexpected. <laughs> yeah, everyone give Blue a happy birthday in chat. Uh, as long as I avoid the double damage, I think I might be okay. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Oh no. That's a tough area. <laughs> I might need I might need a bit more prep for that. Um let's actually go up to the stack. I'm getting Baldur Shell, so I can use Baldur Shell parrying. This is a uh, hidden tech not a lot of people know about. It's using Baldur Shell to get high frames. Because, like, the instant you press the heal button, Baldur Shell actually starts protecting you, right? I've seen people do it in, like, God Home speedruns. Uh, like, IL speedruns, I mean. Never actually done it myself. Ouch. You... I was not trying to go down here. <laughs> No silk song, but at least we got to see stumble guys. Yeah, that's that's the important thing. Silver linings. I think I should probably try to enter fungal like the normal path. I think that's going to be a lot easier than trying to do whatever the hell I'm doing. Is there anything else in Green Path I can get that's useful? I could actually do Moloch now because I have Dash and uh, Lifeblood Heart. It's gonna help a lot too. And I can also I can also get 20 more Geo and get a Charm Notch. That'll be useful for sure. So let's let's actually do that first. Worried for how long the stream is going to be. I'm going to cut myself off after like, I think eight hours will be like my limit, my absolute limit, because I, I can't risk hurting my back. Yo, thanks a lot, Green Slayer. I appreciate the membership. Uh, okay, so with that, I can equip two charms. Question is, what do I use? I'm gonna throw on Baldur Shell for now, and I'm gonna go into Fungal from the normal 
any percent path. Oh, it's your birthday too, Greenslayer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Greenslayer. Hope you're having a good one. It is mine and Blue's birthday as well. Okay. There's there's no special effect in here yet. Yeah, welcome back, medium. One of my friends also shares your, the birthday. <laughs> One of our friends from uh, Vampy's community also has a July 11th birthday. <laughs> I'll fly over there and remove you from the chair myself. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> Why are they just charging up an attack? <laughs> Love it. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Who's to say I don't want that to happen? It's your mom's birthday? Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. So I, th I think the special area effect starts in Mantis Village. So it would be optimal. Holy crap. Oh my god. It would be best for... Why is there one there? Uh, okay. It's going to be a weird explosion pogo. Oh. Easy. It would be best for me to enter through this screen because I'm only doing one Mantis Village screen instead of like five the other way. Oh. You bastard. Why are they coming from that side of the screen? I can't react to that. Okay, that's fine. I hear one complaint after stream about your back hurting. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my lips sealed. Cloth is not multiplied? Actually, I'm curious. I don't think so. That would be funny, though. I'm curious about the Dream Warriors, like uh, Elder Who. I'm going to stand up and stretch. One sec. Gorb spam. I could technically do Gorb right after Mantis Claw. Oh wait, no, I need Dream Nail first, but pretty soon. Okay. The stretching will help us game harder. Galeon, oh no. Oh my god. Why? All of the sporgs. Come on. Oh, got some. Oh, I jumped too late. Or early, rather. No, it was late. Was it late? I don't know. Come on. I gonna do Markov? Uh, I'm going for true ending, so yeah. 
No, why did I do the thing that I did? Oh, I can't heal. Balder shell is useless. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I was trying to heal, and then I panicked. I can't heal. Balder shell is totally useless. Oh, but I can use shaman stone now. Why do you guys let me do that? Come on, chat. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I take responsibility for my own stupid mistakes. This is like one of those moments where I try to shade skip in Steel Soul. <laughs> oh, you said it? <laughs> I must have missed it. I thought you knew something we didn't know. I did not. Uh. You dickheads. Come on. Stop doing that. Mm. I could kill one of them, but they're kind of stacked. Maybe if I re-enter the room, because like the spawns seem kind of random, right? Oh, there we go. Easy. Okay, enjoy the food, Blue. Have a nice rest of your birthday. Okay. All we need to do is just go to Mantis Claw. Very easy. Imagine going through like five screens of that. You don't know how to Epogo. back down. I'm gonna unlock Mantis Lords. Got it. That's all that matters. <laughs> I've got Claw, so I could get Dash Master, but honestly, I think Sean... This is the state of Hollow Knight's charm balance, by the way. I think Shaman Stone is, like, by far the best option here. Unless I got a good survivability charm with Lifeblood Heart. Because Lifeblood Heart is pretty decent. But I think Shaman Stone is definitely my best option right now. I'm not going to do Mantis Lords yet. But uh, eventually, I think Mark of Pride is going to be super helpful, so I'm gonna plan to get that later on. Okay, see ya, Gandalf. Thanks for hanging out. Does Hive Blood work? Uh, it should. I don't think it's nerfed. The thing is, is that uh, you take so much damage so quickly that I don't think Hive Blood would be super effective, but it might be helpful for, like, White Palace and stuff. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Um. Well, get the switch. <laughs> I think that's a probably a wise idea. Um. This is looking extra difficult. 
Had to knock back cancel there. Oh. Good thing we have invincibility monitor because there's no way to do that without it. So I have invincibility when I'm like interact interacting with things. Because otherwise this mod is impossible. I just need to get to the bench. Oh my god, why was one waiting there for me? I lagged so much. Okay. Not the bench. <laughs> what did I just do? You mean the knockback cancel? Oh, I need to get enough money for, um, oh, I can sell to Lem for a nail upgrade. Nail upgrade's gonna help a lot. Yeah, we have evil City of Tears this time. Uh, none of these give money. Oh, okay, maybe they do. Okay, just like one of the enemies gives money, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna sell to Lem first. And then I'll go to the Nailsmith. Then... Oh, oops. Then I'll... What else should I buy? I need to get a Lantern, but I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have enough money from Relics yet. So I'm just gonna sell one Relic. There's a lot of sentries. That's kind of the thing in City of Tears. There's just a million sentries. Why can't you heal for the fun of it? Um, it's completely prevented in God's Soul. Oh my god. This is going to be annoying. I need to get both casts off on the flying ones. There's so much lag that I didn't know when to pogo. That's okay. Mm. Yeah, Hue Shifter is a really cool mod. That spell so delayed. Okay. I got three health, I can get through this room. Okay. Good. Now the colors are a separate mod. So I'm only gonna I'm only gonna sell this because I wanna sell relics and then immediately go to Sly so that I don't lose the Geo. If I have the Geo on me, then I'm gonna lose it. Potentially, so better not to sell the relics yet. Try to cast on them twice. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm trying to kill all of them. And it's easier to, like, kill them immediately act after activating their AI, because when you activate their AI, there's, like, a second before they can do it, do an attack. See? Just like that. Now there's, like, a million other enemies to deal with.
Four more, ten more days until Pikmin 4. Never played a Pikmin game. Enemy rando would be hell with this. Yeah, it would be. Oh, I got sniped. City now Grim's, yes. City belongs to Grim. Uh, okay. So I really need to get back to my shade. Which should be free. way far away. Thought it would be closer. Okay, we made it. Yeah, same. I don't know either. I don't know what the game is like. You run around like saving those little dudes, right? It's kind of like collecting them, I guess. I don't know. Got it down. I genuinely don't know shit about the game. <laughs> That's fine. I got what I needed. We got the nail upgrade. Um, <clears throat> now, do I do Sanctum right away? Yeah, I'll switch then get the demo. <clears throat> I could make my way up to city storerooms. And at least get the stag there. <clears throat> well, I have lever skips on, but I feel like it would be kind of cheap. A switch for milk choco. I <laughs> just looked at the screen and started wagging her tail. Aww. <laughs> Anna is the sweetest dog. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna survive, but. Get this grub. And go th into. Should I go through the arena or Soul Sanctum? I think Soul Sanctum. Because then I can get the shortcut. So assuming I survive. Nope. Not surviving. <clears throat> Almost got them all. <laughs> but if I had 2 HP, I probably would have got that. Talk about it here. I am kind of curious. Although, to be fair, I'm not sure how much attention I can give. when she's not pulling things out of the garbage again. Uh, okay, I'm not getting the rancid egg. Maybe... Hmm. 
me getting a rancid egg is not a bad idea. Well, whatever. I'm fine. Who needs... Who needs them? There will be multiple radiances at the ending. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there will be. Oh. Oh, the arena's already done because... Because I, I just needed to kill one of those... Uh, soul twisters. Uh, okay, let's, uh, hit the bench. Yeah, it makes sense. The Chonies is good. Yo, thanks a lot, Galbear. I appreciate it. What's the change in Sanctum? Oh, it's the same as in the rest of the city. And just a million enemies, I guess. The thing about Sanctum is there are a lot of little checkpoints, so... I don't think it'll be too hard to get through Sanctum as long as uh, Soul Master isn't crazy difficult. I just need to take it one step at a time. I want to get the Geo. One of these enemies has the Geo. Yep, here we go. Although I might just lose it in this screen. can make it through Sanctum Deathless. That'll be sick. Probably not. This room is the worst. Oh, come on. They dodged me. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. I made it. Oh, this room, though. <laughs> I was expecting that. Is very satisfying. See, the tricky thing is, gotta do Soul Master, but I have absolutely no health. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. How many Soul Masters are there, are there going to be? I can play forever without game overing with a lot of content and it's been worked on for like five years. Wait, it's just Soul Master? Oh, no. Oh, I tried to pogo above that one. Okay, honestly, two Soul Masters is not the worst thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna need to get more health going into the fight. Yo, thanks a lot, Green Flash. And thanks, Mason, as well. I appreciate it. I really want uh, Shaman Stone. Oh, I didn't get this lever. I really should have got that lever. That's okay. I will grab it this time. I think I could get some more Mask Shards as well. Oh, whoops. Oh, god. Could get more mask shards. 
last time there was around five. Yeah, that's a bit much. I think like three would be the maximum that's reasonable. But like even then, it's really the fact that you can't go into it with full health. That's the big problem, not the boss itself. Because there's so many natural pauses in the Soul Master fight, it's like, it's one of the more doable duplicated bosses, I think. Now we're going into it with poor HP, which is much better. What? Why? What? Those just spawn with the shade? I was like, celebrating 4 HP. Nope. Aw. Oh, already got a shitty pattern. now. Oh, the other one stays up top. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Not bad for 3 HP. Oh, there's still one up top. What? I think they just brought the other one down without killing the previous one. <laughs> Yo, thanks a lot, Mason. I appreciate it. That's not bad. Second try. But now we have to escape. <laughs> we have to escape from city. Which is also not going to be... Oh, yeah, no... No geo chest, I forgot. I forgot we lost the geo chest privileges. That's okay. Who needs him? Oh yeah, and uh dive takes all of our soul. That's fun. So like I can cast dive right now, even though I'm at two thirds soul, but it'll use all of it, I think. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I tried to pogo one of them. Oops, and then I missed and panicked. But I needed health anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks everyone. See the stupid sentries? Holy crap. Why, why? Hello? Why? Okay, we're getting this relic before we die. Why? Why did that happen? <laughs> There's twice as many enemies as before. It's like they duplicated the sentries. Or no, wait. They spawned sentries. And then they duplicated the enemies for the room, I think. Might be what happened. Because that's an abnormal amount even for this mod. See, that's a lot. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, we got fake dive. Oh my god, I didn't... <laughs> there weren't sound effects, so I didn't react to it. I'm lagging so bad. Just get out of this room. <laughs> Just leave. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's quite a few of those. Oh, now I need to gather soul. <laughs> it uses all my soul just for that. 
you, master. Okay. All good. We got the shortcuts. Now we can safely leave, right? All right. We made it. Yeah, ads on YouTube are kind of inconsistent. All right. We're making progress a lot faster than I expected. Two hours in, already done Soul Sanctum. So we could go to resting ground, or not resting grounds. Oh, we could go to resting grounds. But I was thinking Crystal Peak, probably. Uh, waterways is also an option. sneezing. Don't worry, just sneezing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got the key. Thanks everyone. Thank you for the bless yous. Forgot to mute, really? I thought I hit the mute button. Oh, I don't have any Geo for... Wait, do I have Geo? No, I think I... because I skipped my shade. Like, I skipped picking it up in Soul Sanctum. Oh, I... I lagged. That's fine. I can at least get the bench up here, because I'm using Bench Warp, so I'll just grab the bench. Do I have enough for Lantern with all my relics? Is it late to say, bless you? No. <laughs> like, yeah, just imagine. It's too late. I'm gonna call you out. Um. So let's go to Crossroads. If I can get Lantern, then I should. So it's, uh, so I, yeah, I definitely can. So let's go to Pearl Bench. That's the closest one. I should also prioritize, uh, getting more nail upgrades so I can get yeah, Crystal Peak definitely makes the most sense, because I can... I can, uh... Oh, I thought I'd get a wall jump. Because so I can get a Pale Ore at Crystal Peak, and I can upgrade Dive, which is like... Even though it's nerfed, it's still the most... most best. Why am I going here? I can speak English. Oh, shit. Okay, I survived. Okay, see, uh, Celestial. Yeah, I'm just gonna warp, just to make things a bit faster. I'm definitely not gonna lose my shade if I spawn nearby. Um... How do you even go about surviving? Um... You just mean, like, the centuries? Sus. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, let's go to Crossroads Stag. Generally, you just try to kill them all at once. Because, like, when they... Oops, I forgot about that. Because when you load into the room, they're, like, pretty stacked up. Otherwise, you can just kind of damage tank a lot of the time. Uh, let's take. Oh, let's take this round. Serena Slackheart donated two dollars. Long time watcher popping in to say happy birthday. 
Thanks a lot, Serena. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoy the content. I did get Sea Dash last time, but I forget what is in Crystal Beak. There's tons of Mila clones everywhere. What's been my favorite? Pale Court. Pale Court was amazing. If you guys haven't seen Pale Court, wait. Why didn't that deal damage? If you guys haven't seen Pale Court, you must. Oh, everything. It's just permanently upside down. That's not that bad. But some of them, some of them aren't working. That's okay. I'm okay with that. It's a blue lake skip. I'm not trying to get Dream Nail. I'm trying to get all the upgrades because I'm going for true ending. I can get uh, Dream Nail later. I'll probably get Dream Nail after Descending Dark just because it's there, like on the path. No, I'm mainly trying to get upgrades. Oh, ouch. Trying to get Crystal Heart. Ooh, boy. I'm gonna need to use spells to kill some of these, I think. to go into that. Uh, I need to get rid of Shaman Stone because I don't need it for this section. So that and that. Yeah, Pale Court's uh, difficulty is definitely tailored toward HK veterans. So it kind of Kinda is unfortunate that it's not a bit more accessible, but I love it. <laughs> I think like the regular bosses were like slightly too easy for me, but the uh, oh, I don't want to spoil anything. You know what I was thinking? I was just thinking, what if deep focus would be good in this mod? Apparently, I don't learn. What if I just got deep focus <laughs> and then I heal two times zero? Perfect. Shopkeeper's key, so we can get Shade Soul eventually. I want to be careful there because the, the uh, laser dudes can shoot you. Mm, I wonder if it would have been good to go to Crystal Guardian just for the bench. I'm gonna try and get some sh shortcuts. One in the wall? Come on, game. Let's get these shortcuts. Even gonna go down first before Crystal Heart. Just so I can take this path back up in case I die. Now I'm gonna hit the bench actually. No heal deep focus is the best. True. Oh, that's... Okay. 
found a way to heal spam through the bosses. Nice. It's very rewarding to find little spots where you can heal. Because once you're able to like consistently find healing spots, it makes a lot of bosses much easier. Yeah, Pale Court is amazing. It's very well made. They put a lot of effort into it. I had a comment saying, like, this looks okay, but it's not polished. I'm like, what? They spent like two years polishing it. It's way more polished than most of HK's boss fights. Like, I. I don't think it's quite up to, oh my god, quite up to the same standard, like, artistically. Because, like, you're comparing to, like, Christopher Larkin, and Hollow Knight's artwork is amazing as well. But, in terms of, like, balance and stuff, Hail is amazing. Like, in the boss mechanics and everything, it's really well made. Okay, that was easy. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, big fan of Pale Court. Especially the, uh, the last boss. Last boss is super good. Uh, I need to get the grub to the left. Oh, I need to go up and get the pale, pale orc. <laughs> Why did I forget the name of it? <clears throat> yep, don't forget to hydrate, everyone. Oh, I can get some um, wraiths as well. I should do that soon. Uh, I'm not even gonna go in there. Yeah, I completely agree. It does blend really well with vanilla HK. Like, you can tell it's a little bit different, but it they, they put a lot of effort into making it fit. I don't like having 2 HP here. Come on, <laughs> they completely blocked me. in the fireball animation. I can do this with full health, but... It's, uh... I just need to save a bit of health to damage tank through those, uh, whatever they're called. Dudes on the walls. Uh... Oh my god, I said save health. I need to think about getting more masks, though. Maybe I should get the bench. Um, I should definitely get the bench at uh, Crystal Guardian. Am I going to go for wings? Yep. Yeah. I need to get wings for true ending. Should probably think about doing that kind of soon. Because there's also a pale ore. So, wait, can I get to, I can't get to Crystal Guard, oh yeah, I can, okay, Never mind. I don't know the map 
evidently. Oh. Oh, I, why did I think I could dive? Oh. Oh, the hitbox is broken. Should have pogoed. I should try to get there from the left, because there's like less shit on the way from the left path. I gotten Grubfather stuff yet? I've just gotten one mask. I'm gonna need to save 30 grubs for another Pale Horror, so it's gonna be a while before I get any more useful stuff. I could get Grub Song, though. Oh, oops. I should already have Grub Song unlocked. It says Hegemol's mask is broken? Wait, is the tracker bugged? Uh, definitely did not. <laughs> I don't think Enraged Guardian is going to be that bad, it's just kind of a matter of going in with enough HP. Especially once my damage output is higher, I think most of these bosses won't be too bad. It's just I still kind of have like an early game setup, and um, spell builds are not as effective with this mod, so I really need to get uh, power-ups for my nail. Okay, see ya, Loki. Thanks for hanging out. Just enough health. <laughs> oh, camera's not updating. It's okay. All right. This should be easy with full health, I think. I should have pogoed the crystal. Okay. Not too bad. the pale ore. <laughs> Just help you pull go through Path of Pain. Uh, it was not as easy as it looked. Um, mainly because of the lag, but also because their teleporting is like super unpredictable. So you really had to like intentionally try and make them teleport in certain spots, which was like super awkward. But yeah. Being able to pogo off the aspids made that challenge a bit easier, for sure. And heal, of course. Kinda like blue peaks. <laughs> Me too, actually. It's a nice vibe. Uh, I got the grub. Wait, did I get the grub to the left? I did. 
How many attempts did that take? Uh, two or three? Okay, so now I need to go through the dark room and crystallized mound. Crystallized mound might actually be kind of tricky, but I'll try to go into it with full soul. We can't even do those sections normally. We got this. We did it. Two players, one controller. That's harder. Why? Oh, that doesn't have a hitbox. Come on. Oh, you piece of shit. Why? What hit me? There's no crystals there. Those hitboxes are so jank. That's okay, though. Uh, let me warp to the other bench. Actually, let me stretch. I'm gonna take a quick break just to get up and stretch, and I'll get more... get something to drink. Be right back. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. We might actually get through this today. We'll see. Thank you. 
Story time in chat. <laughs> and then then she proceeded to fall down the stairs like three times. So the stairs were slippery. Should go for Dream Nail, I think. Right? Wait. Oh, I died in Crystallized Mount. That's what happened. I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Karma. <clears throat> for those who aren't. In the loop, Vampy is my fiance now. We are getting married uh, next month. And she streams on Twitch. Oh, fuck. So go watch her. Actually, here. Let me let me help you guys out. Go follow Vampy Switch. Right now. Wait, why isn't it doing a link? Oh, because I didn't put HTTPS in front. There we go. Go follow. Right now. <laughs> Thanks for the congrats. Okay, let's do our best to make it through this time. stream one. We, we are not streaming our wedding. feel like that would be a mistake. So are the hitboxes just normal in that room, or are they different per platform? I'm not sure yet. It's kind of hard to know what to do when the hitboxes don't match the visuals. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oops. I don't have Twitch. Well, get Twitch and follow Vampy. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> Missed 666 follows. <laughs> Unfortunate. doing so well. Holy fuck. Why is there a hitbox there? There's not supposed to be hitboxes on the sides of those platforms. You're supposed to be able to wall jump. Like that. Why does, why does it work there? Hmm. Maybe they just want getting Descending Dark to be impossible, so they just, like, threw some hitboxes. <laughs> All the enemies get duplicated, so that includes the shades. Okay. Got a bit extra health this time. Yo, thanks a lot, Joey. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes. And glad you're enjoying the content. What if we just kill all the crystal hunters? 
Isn't that going to be, like, much easier? So it's that, that third platform specifically that has a busted. The second one too. Okay, never mind. Or was it the second one the first time? Oops. I, I, I've been getting owned by that platform, I think. That, that one doesn't have a hitbox. <laughs> yeah, it's my birthday stream. <laughs> For my birthday, I decided to stream God's Soul Hollow Knight. <laughs> I know how to have a good time. Normally, the, the hitboxes are still different because normally you can... Um, well, maybe not for that one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're totally right. Thank you for the tip. I was just confused because I was getting hit on the side when normally that doesn't happen. So I'm like, they're in some weird random spot. Alerts are totally paused. Oops. Joey worth it donated twelve dollars and sixty nine cents. <laughs> Thanks Happy a lot, everyone. Really fire, appreciate heart, it. Fire and congratulations you, on the wedding. Love Very watching your fits and streams whenever I can. Ha -ha! And thank you very much, Yukia, as well, for the five memberships. Uh, that puts us two away. Oh. Zuta! Wait. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> We're at 105 all of a sudden. <laughs> Zuta! So that unlocks the seventh postcard raffle. Because we're doing a postcard raffle for every 15 memberships. It is Zuta! number seven. Postcard and sticker pack. Zuta! Where'd you get the idea for your name? I just like randomly chose it for a Neopets account when I was 10 years old. I was playing Neopets when Neopets released. That's how old I am. 24 years ago. Wait, no, that's more like 20... I think I was like 11, maybe. Maybe 12. Thanks a lot, Yukio. Someone were new to making content, what advice would you give them? Uh, just do it for fun to start with. I don't need to do that. I did YouTube for like uh, about 10 years before it became financially viable. And even then it happened all of a sudden when I like really started putting a lot more effort into my content. Dream nail. What the? I typed a whole message and it only sent the emoji. What? Is YouTube censoring you? Yeah, I know a lot of people uh, want to do YouTube or content creation full time. But it can become a really nasty grind, even if you are, even if you like manage to get successful. So I'll just focus on having fun with it to start with. And make content that you would like to see.
love that we give the exact same advice, yeah. Of course. Great minds think alike. Uh, so... I could go to Right Side City of Tears. Go and, like, pick up Dash Slash and everything. But in terms of what'll give me the most power right now, uh, probably Shade Soul. But I could make my way there from the right side of City of Tears. Resting ground scripts does not seem too bad. <laughs> it's just like two enemies instead of one. Not bad. Yeah, for sure, Loki. Yeah, YouTube's my full-time job. I'm doing it as long as it's financially viable. Definitely, like, with the decreased interest in Hollow Knight over time, um, revenues, like, been going down a little bit, but <clears throat> I'm definitely like willing to rebrand if I have to, but I want to stick with Hollow Knight because I love Hollow Knight and I love the community too, so I want to do it like as long as I'm able to. And I have a lot of ideas for Hollow Knight still, like I have a lot of content that I still want to make. Even like excluding Silk Song. I have a lot of ideas for games and other videos that I want to do. It's just everything takes a lot of time. And stuff like my stupid back injury does not help. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good good call. Definitely uh, having other similar-minded folks to discuss and share strategies and ideas and stuff with, and support one another. Uh, I should have just bypassed all of these enemies as soon as I could. Coming here is a terrible idea. There's gonna be so many enemies up here. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Every enemy is gonna get duplicated as soon as it spawns. It's not a good idea. Like, I might do that eventually, but... Really, I'm a lot... Oh, I thought that might have been a one-hit. Nintendo games? Uh, no, it's too saturated already, like with other content creators, I think. I don't know, maybe not. But it's just like, I think my competitions, like Point Crow and Doug Doug and stuff like that. Like, if I'm switching to different gaming communities, I gotta kind of, like, find a niche of my own, I think. Because there's, like, some people who are just, like, super talented creators that, like, I probably wouldn't want compete, to compete against. Not that it's a competition exactly, but, you know, if someone's gonna choose to click on Fireborn or someone who's super established and I'm gonna damage tank through this. And, Joey worth uh, the incredibly good at what they do, then cents. probably gonna I'm choose to the other person a lot of the time. From UK. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Joey. Uh, I can't become a member. From the UK, you should be able to. Um, I know the join button is missing for some countries, but I feel like you should be able to. 
Try going into my, like, my channel page and see if there's a join button there. Yeah, also fuck Nintendo. Nintendo's a kind of shitty company. Like, I, I'm not saying people shouldn't play Nintendo games, of course, but... Because I do. But it's not the first company I would want to make content for, like, of their games. Oh, God. There's a lot of them here. Having Shriek would be nice. Rhino donated three dollars and seventy-six cents. <laughs> Thank you, Vice Rhino. Um, I am planning to do a grass randomizer. It's just got put on the back burner for a while. Oh my god. have to get permission to post Let's Plays, even though it's free marketing for them. Same with, like, the Melee tournaments that they want to shut down and shit like that. It's literally free advertising for Nintendo. But no, let's shut that shit down. Screw over our biggest fans. Our biggest supporters. There's no way I'm getting through here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Point Crow went through some bullshit too. Which is, like, he's a big creator. Nintendo just does whatever the fuck they want. Which is sad. Did I get this? Yeah, I did. I have no memory of getting that. <sighs> Should I go do Watcher Nights? It's like, no, I should keep doing whatever I can to boost my power, because otherwise I'm going to keep dying a ton and spending a ton of time dying. Yo, thanks a lot, Gustin. <laughs> Welcome in. I got this, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they are slow to adapt to new business practices, like even taking a look at their online services have historically been like the worst and the bar is like pretty low, like console uh, online services are pretty bad overall, but being the worst of them all is Please die. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna try to fireball the primal aspids. Quick slash. Okay, good. Yeah, I cannot afford that. 
There's definitely going to be more than one Hornet. Not sure how many there are. This is going to be annoying with the increased soul cost of Dive. I should kill these enemies for Geo. Oh, they don't give Geo. Some of them do. The original copies do. Why? Ah, you bastards. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, I've... how didn't I activate that stalactite before? <clears throat> yeah, Nintendo does make very good video games. Great games on their consoles. Oh, on Pale Court? I'm glad you liked it. I don't take credit for any of that shit, though. I didn't do any testing or anything. The team just did an amazing job. Why did that... Did anyone ever find out why the video got taken down by YouTube, like, uh, the trailer. My immediate thought was, like, Horhoristo's trying to <laughs> bully modders again. Oh, thanks a lot, Loki. And thank you, Felix. Jesus. Where's the spot? Oh my god. I just... Fake audio brand scam? What's that? You mean like abusing DMCA or the content ID? False advertising? How the hell does that happen? Like, why would anyone report it for that? Gotta love how, like... If, if there were an honest manual review of the video before it got taken down, then it would not have been taken down, right? So did no one review the reports? Or was the reviewer just an idiot? Because not, o not only did it get taken down, it didn't um, get put back up after the decision was appealed. Which is crazy. Like, people put real time and effort into videos, man. <laughs> You have to have a better report system than that. Oh, where's the hoppers? I might need to just, like, iframe through these. <laughs> There's one that just... Gets too close to me every time. Oh, okay, that did not work. All the responses seem like they were auto-generated. That is so pathetic. I 
guess that is a bold assumption. My assumption was just immediately that it's like someone malicious. Because it, it doesn't seem like an honest thing that someone would report the mod for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that Geo lost? Oh yeah, I've had to dispute so many uh, copyright claims. I've had to dispute numerous copyright claims on piano music that I literally played myself that was classical music. So it's not like it's from a band. It's music that's existed for hundreds of years. that, like, some bozo has put into the content ID system. And it just... any music that sounds like their music is automatically flagged. And, of course, it's classical music, so everyone's music sounds the same. I think this Geo's just gone. So everyone who plays the same piece just gets flagged. Or remember that time when some dickheads put Hollow Knight music into the content ID system so everyone who uploaded Hollow Knight content would get flagged? And you had to manually dispute every single instance of this? Just because one person uploaded Hollow Knight music into the content ID system. And it took like at least six months for YouTube to do anything about it. And every time you had a video that was flagged, not only would you have to dispute it, but any revenue that that video makes until until the dispute is like they until they render a decision on the dispute or the dispute expires, which is what always happened, all revenue from that video would be held by YouTube, so you wouldn't actually get it until the dispute expires. Very good system. Uh, okay, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, it is really annoying, but at least uh, it's not in the content ID system anymore, but it's just a really broken system. The thing is, is that not everyone disputes it because people are, like, scared to do it. Like, especially smaller creators who are kind of, like, new. So for those who don't dispute it, whoever put the music into the system just gets all the ad revenue for those videos for free. Which is why I assume it's being done, like, maliciously as a scam and not just, like, an honest mistake. I should definitely use lifeblood art right now. Uh, oh god, I need to bugger off at least. Uh, I should have damage tanked off that. Oops. Yeah, you can curse. Just, um, you know. As long as it's not too overdone. <laughs> people wrongly claim music that isn't already claimed so they can steal the revenue from it. Yeah, that's what I assume was happening with Hollow Knight's music. There's also a thing that people do if they're not monetized by YouTube, where they put their own music into their videos, and then they claim their own music so that they can get revenue from their videos without their channel being monetized. Which is what people who get demonetized by YouTube can do.
Wait, where's the where's the spawn? There it is. Just crazy how broken the system is. And what kind of crap it enables. Like, it's good that creators whose works are being improperly used, it's good that they can easily deal with it, but the crap that results from that is ridiculous. <clears throat> so what is this like? Oh. I should use Quick Slash for this, or maybe I am using Shaman Stone. Mm. Three Hornets is not so bad, but I might need to get a bit stronger first. Much more bearable with the plant mines, yeah. Some guy got arrested not long ago for making thousands on wrongful claims. <laughs> At least someone did. What? Why are there more? Is it random? Unfortunately, I think I just need more health. So I'm gonna... Hmm... We'd get a quick one uh, from Queen's Station. Some might have gotten stuck in the ceiling. Mornets, yeah. True. Some of them... Some of the enemies are definitely getting stuck out of bounds. Steal damage? <clears throat> so, oh my god, why? Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> Why did I decide to come up here with 2 HP? Let's leave. Let's not do that. Oh. We're fine. We're good. What? Why are there enemies in here? Yo, thanks a lot, Martin. I appreciate it. I think my main focus should actually be getting a nail build going and getting more charm notches on top of uh, mask shards. So I want to get more. This is going to be really tough to get through. Maybe I give up on getting wraiths and just focus on nail damage. 20 million. Jesus Christ. The fact that the system's so broken that someone can do... Someone can make that much money before getting caught 
and dealt with. That's insane. Because, like, if you make that much money from that scam, like, I, I assume you pretty much just upload the music into the system. Because how? I mean, I guess they might have found a way to automate it, but... Like, I can't imagine how else the system works. Because the system works by automatically finding music within other videos. So, like, is there a spot where people just upload MP3s and get money for it? <laughs> I assume there might be some kind of submission process. But it's not very well done, clearly. Um, uh, okay, so let's go to King Station. I can go down toward Ancient Basin and get the Pale Ore there. There's also the Pale Ore from Nosk, but I'm kind of scared of Nosk right now. Will they fix the system? I think it's working as intended, honestly. Like, I think this is the way they want it. Because, uh, it's like less work for them this way. And it, like, removes liability from them, right? In case there's, like, copyright problems. It's like, how can there be copyright issues if the creators can just do whatever the fuck they want? Uh, I want to get this toll bench, but I also don't have enough geo for it. <laughs> They're just dancing, look at this. I do need to be careful with uh, swearing on stream though, because I have been- I have had a video demonetized for it in the past. Speaking of monetization issues on YouTube, I think I just like sweared a couple too many times. Which apparently YouTube is eased up on, but I also don't trust YouTube, so. Okay, it looks like there's no like unique effects here, so I might just be able to get through with 2 HP. Yeah, nice and easy. No, YouTube doesn't have any responsibility anyway. Oh, no responsibility for false claims. Okay. I have two pale ore. If I can get one more before going to Nailsmith, then I can get Nail 3 right away, which would be pretty nice. And then if I get Mark of Pride, uh, I would have, like, a decent nail build. Mm. I want to get this bench. How much does this bench cost? Totally forgot. Oh! I didn't see those. <laughs> yep, exactly, dwarf. Uh, so, <laughs> they, they go over the rules very specifically. In like some random creators video that they release, which probably has like a thousand views. Um, and that's where you find it. 150 geo? Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, basically <clears throat> no hard swears within the first 10 seconds or something. And they give some definition of what a hard curse word is, like the F word. Um, 
you can not put them in the thumbnail either or your video is going to get demonetized or limited monetization which is pretty similar in my experience it's like basically the same thing as being demonetized um but you can use like light curse words like damn shit in the thumbnail um or in the first 10 seconds but then there's like if you do too much of it then we'll just demonetize you anyway kind of thing like there's no like strict rules around that just uh, someone's judgment i guess mm. can i do broken vessel right now if I could get Monarch Wings easily, it would be nice. If it's too hard, I'll just probably leave and see what else I can get to buff myself. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense that you can't do it early on in the video. I have, I have no idea why that's the case. If they just, like, are worried about what advertisers will see if they open up a video for the first 10 seconds. That's the only thing I can think of why they would, like, a reason why they would care about early on in the video, specifically. Oops. I just need to get this shortcut. advertiser friendly if you swear directly after their ad. <laughs> Advertisers. No, oh, I tried to pogo that. Didn't YouTube get in trouble for their ads not following their own rules? It wouldn't surprise me. Actually, a lot of YouTube ads, now that I think about it, a lot of YouTube ads are pretty sketchy. Y'all seen that ad where it's like, uh, lawyers to, uh, there's some, like, it's not a class action lawsuit, but it's some lawsuit against Steam for having an illegal monopoly. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one who witnessed that shit. Okay, this is kind of tricky. I had my jump input get dropped. See them on Twitter all the time. They're on YouTube as well. Unfortunately. Hmm. Apparently it's not a scam, but it's definitely sketchy. I'm just barely getting hit by a lot of things that I should probably be avoiding. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the ads are sketchy. And then 
all the other ones are like Honkai Star Impact or whatever it's called. Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> I think I combined two names there. up so nicely. Perfect for de darking. Wait, what's the Temu ad? I've probably seen it before, but... Sketchy mobile games, yeah. Hero Wars. <laughs> Actually, Hero Wars isn't sketchy, it's just terrible. Why do people play such bad mobile games? Does anyone ever wonder that? Like... There's so many mobile games that are... they just look like garbage. And then I look at how many downloads they have and it's a hundred million. Like, what? <laughs> Why? It's like the worse the game is, the more attention it gets. Are there good mobile games? No. But, like, there are varying levels of quality to them, at least. Like, some are much worse than others. I need to dodge a bit more. Oh. I... <clears throat> Dragon Mania Legends. <laughs> no, there are good mobile games, but most of them are pretty... Most of them are stinkers. I just need to try to stun lock both of them at once. Can I pull that off? That was a pathetic attempt. What makes a mobile game good versus bad? Most of them are bad because of their monetization being like 90% of everything. attacking in the worst possible patterns that are impossible to dodge. Oh my god. <clears throat> Some random devs occasionally put out a good mobile game. I'm not super into mobile games, so I'm not totally familiar. they were together right now. Uh. Yeah, 
a lot of the good ones are just cross-platform games. Even then, I find them generally, like, pretty uncomfortable to play on the phone. But, I mean... Also has its benefits as well. definitely do this, but it's tricky. <clears throat> Original 2048. Yeah, that was a good game. I remember playing that, um, when I was student teaching. <laughs> So used to having uh, Mark of Pride after playing Fail Court. This is a terrible attempt. My mom plays a lot of mobile games, like, mainly one mobile game in particular. <laughs> Worried about how much money she spent on it. Shade Cloak. attempt than that. Mm. Well, I got wings, so that's good. <clears throat> Where should I go? I wanna... I wanna buff my nail. So maybe I should go do... Um, Mantis Lords? Assuming Mantis Lords aren't too bad. I think I could do Mantis Lords pretty easy with my setup. As long as there aren't those uh, projectiles coming onto the screen on that screen. My closest bench is Leg Eater, though. Oh, Dream Nail Pale, pale Ore. That's a good idea. <laughs> I could do Elder Who right now, since I'm here. I imagine it won't be too bad, maybe. We'll see. No, this is going to be bad. Donated four dollars and ninety nine cents. What? 
Why is... Some of the attacks are like sped up, too. Are they? Or am I crazy? dodgeable. Yo, JD. <laughs> Thanks so much for the donation. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that one's kind of tough. Maybe I should get Shade Soul. Jesus, man. I don't know what I should do exactly. right now. Can't figure out how to do it on YouTube. Yeah. No worries. Classic YouTube problem. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, I'm making progress. Getting to the bench is gonna be hard, though. Mm, oh, maybe it's not. I'm gonna go get Dash. <laughs> Dash Master first, though. And Breda will unlock a Mask Shard later on. Oh, there's also no projectiles on this screen, which makes it doable. Why? How am I supposed to do that without taking damage? <laughs> Thanks a lot, JD, for the happy birthday. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day, too. Switch is pretty good, but I prefer the Steam Deck. Just depends on what kind of games you want to play, though. You don't, yeah. <laughs> True. Actually. If they made those move, like, just slightly slower, they would be reactable. But it's like... Most of them are not... ...viable to react to. Especially the faster ones. Like that. They have them on the screen? No. That's just stupid. Okay, I guess Mantis Lords is not happening. They do not want us to get, uh, Market Pride. Uh, I could go into waterways. What would I get out of waterways? Ismus Tear. And Fluke Nest. Fluke Nest could be pretty strong, but <clears throat> spell builds require a Shaman Stone, which takes five notches. Mm.
Most of them are on different consoles. <laughs> I should get another pale ore and upgrade my nail twice. Easiest pale ore probably is essence. So let's go. We can also get cyclone slash while we're in uh, Helling Cliffs. doubles. <laughs> could get all three nail arts and get nail master's glory that might actually be kind of nice because being able to nail art like all the enemies that are stacked up although i think it wouldn't be too great for bosses so bosses are kind of like the main concern okay let's see what gorb is like it's just gonna be like 10 gorbs dodged it. It's tricky. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Oh. Still shooting at me? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are they falling on me? <laughs> okay, at least I'm gonna get my shade. Where's my shade? It's below. Okay. At least I got my shade, so now I can get my soul back. Okay. I should definitely, uh... I should have spell stalled. Didn't realize I still had soul. Oh, yeah. I should have dived, maybe, but... I should be using Shaman Stone, for sure. Uh, can you stop shooting at me, Gorb? I'm on a different screen! Jesus Christ. Enter. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Your radius three point zero has nothing on this. True. This is much, much more difficult. I uh too much effort. I was gonna say maybe I could bring Vengeflies over to get soul off of but... That one. 
Okay. <laughs> Watch out for falling tick ticks. Thankfully, you only have to kill one, not all of them. <laughs> but even that is definitely challenging. So getting Joni's Blessing seems like a good idea as well while I'm here. That'll be some good survivability. But I need a lot more Charm Notches. Stole my body as a last resort. Yep. Now I'm Gorb. Uh, okay, Joni's Blessing. Then I can get the King's Idol in the journal. And there's no real point in... I mean, I could do Grimm's Quest to get Carefree Melody, but... That's a lot of effort. I think it would be worth it. Uh, maybe not. Because I'm not healing. Like, Carefree Melody is obviously way better if you heal. Get more value out of it. More opportunities for it to proc. But since I'm not healing... And I'm probably going to be using Joni's Blessing. So, like... I'm already spending four notches on survivability. And I want to use Quick Slash. Maybe Mark of Pride if I can get it. So that's six notches. So I'm only left with one notch after that. So I can't use Carefree Melody really. It does not fit into the build. Okay, see a medium. Thanks for hanging out. So let's get the relics on this screen, then I can skip Grim. Get the journal and get the king's idol. That'll help pay for, uh, nail upgrades. Now... Another Pale or or... Yeah. Another Dream Warrior for the Pale Ore. Uh... You need 300 Essence, right? So I need 200 more. But I'm not doing... Not doing Markov. Marmu would probably be really tough and his way out of the way. Could do zero, right? Yo, thanks so much, Andrew. Careful with doing Grim. Five of them at once does not seem like a good time. <laughs> no, it does not. Thank you very much for that 26 months. Holy shit. I really appreciate it. Does zero give 200? I thought zero gives 150. Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, they, they share swords, but they both attack with the same swords. That's kind of cool, actually. I was kind of expecting them to just have different swords. No. Why does the screen reload like that? It's weird. Yeah, oh, that's 100 essence. Not 150. Soul and damage generated from... 
Is zero normally a hundred essence though? Damage generated from the extra hits and the extra iframes from a stalwart shell be worth it. Uh, maybe. It's definitely possible. Uh, it probably depends on the boss. Because, like, there is a lot of damage tanking, so it would make sense to get more iframes. Also depends on uh, if your Charm Notch is going to be better used with something else, but... Because of how much damage we're tanking, it's definitely, possibly good. Right now, I would say it's not, but once I get more of a strong nail build going with, like, Quick Slash... Could be. Could be optimal. I can open the resting grounds. Uh, wait, what are they called? Spirit's Glade? I can open that up. Uh, Always 100. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. It's a rebuilt PC good. Uh, some of them can be. But I'd probably recommend building yourself. Uh, it's not for everyone, but if you're willing to take the time to figure it out. Don't get an Alienware PC. I made the mistake of doing that once, and uh, I don't know if the laptops are better, because I think that's like the main thing Dell does now, right? The tower was not good. There's like no airflow, and it seemed like the performance just wasn't great. And I ran into other issues with the software, which was annoying. Uh, what now? Need a hundred more essence? Do we go do Elder Who? Elder Who was pretty tough. I have two out of four for a mask shard. Is building a PC hard? I don't really think so. Hmm. What's the easiest mask shard to get? Could get some from Sly. Wasn't bad? Okay. I had so many problems with my tower, but I'd imagine like some of their products have to be good. Uh do 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 are pre-builts cheaper? Usually not, but some of them, some of them use cheaper parts, like cheaper components that perform worse, like the Alienware PC that I had definitely performs worse than if you get name brand components, not like Dell brand components. Those are definitely not going to perform as well, especially with the terrible case. The case is awful. Uh, let's just get Grub Song while I think. And I can also get this, uh... This relic. Wait. Why is it infected Crossroads? Have I gotten a Dreamer? My Intel or AMD? I have an Intel CPU right now. No oh, wings. I'm so used to playing randos that I don't even think of that anymore. <laughs> it's like... Is it the case in randos that wings infects crossroads? Because I always thought it was only dreamers. Wait, I didn't get a Grub Song? 
I'm missing a grub? I must have like nine. Yo, sorry sheep. Why are alerts not playing? Are alerts playing? Or are they just like muted for me? Oh, I know it's vanilla. Wait, I got Grub Song? Holy shit, I'm autopiloting so hard right now. No, I know it's vanilla. Oh god. Oops. I'm just wondering if Rando changes it so Wings doesn't infect Crossroads, which I think is the case. Uh... Mmm. Maybe I should. Ugh, I don't want to do Elder Who. It's all lifeblood. Love how the color makes it look like lifeblood instead of infection. Mmm. Can probably get another charm notch. Can probably get a mask shard from Sly right now, actually. Might be good to get um to get the key from Sly. Oops. How many more charms do I need for another notch? Five more. Okay, let's get the um the key from Sly. No eyes. I feel like no eyes would be awful, oh. but maybe. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad. And no eyes isn't like too far from a bench, so I could quickly try it. It's a good call. Yeah. Drop song. Uh. Maybe I should use Jonies. That's my back doing my back. It's actually okay right now. Thank you for asking. chase you. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm definitely cutting myself off if I get to that point. <laughs> they might not spawn in the... in where no eyes is, because, uh... Some of the screens just don't have the effects that you'd expect. Okay, we got Shade Soul. That's really good. Let's, uh, let's go... Check it out. Zuta! Oh my god. Yo, thanks a lot, Emily. I appreciate it. Welcome back. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, it stops while you're dream yelling. Temporarily, kind of. Okay, so there's not 
multiple projectiles per boss, but there's still these fool eaters everywhere. And there's multiple bosses, which is very confusing. There's only two, maybe three. Might be better to use shade, uh, shaman stone here, honestly. Uh, why am I taking damage? Yeah, this is doable for sure. Good RNG. No eyes has like a percent chance to teleport, so sometimes you just get lucky. She just like decides not to. Oh, I've already got the mask. Okay, let's warp out of here. Uh, I can go to get the pale or thank you. thing. 500 essence and... is it a relic? Let's go sell to Lem. What relics do I have? I have lots. So I can sell to Lem and then use the money for a bunch of stuff to power up, so that'll be good. Soul Vessel? Yeah, I could also get a Soul Vessel. Uh, there's like the City of Tears one. And there's the one uh, near Massive Moss Charger. Which is really easy. <laughs> Why is this? This arena is just totally normal. That's funny. I have not been to the Abyss. I couldn't kill Hornet 2. I have Hornet too, like I have the bench and everything, so I can get there anytime. Oh, oh, the elevator's above. Oops. Never watched a video series, but they never ended it. I'm it, like I'm at the fourth dungeon. Wait, what are you? What are you talking about? What kind of what kind of series? God, <laughs> not this again. At least I have wings this time. Oh, no worries, Rune. Nothing wrong with asking. I have a lot of Geo. I need to not die with this money. <laughs> uh, I think one of those playthroughs. You mean a Hollow Knight playthrough? What's Watcher Knights gonna be like? Probably. I think Watcher Knights will actually not be bad because Watcher Knights are normally a um, boss that you fight multiples of, and they're they get owned by Descending Dark, and you just need to kill like uh, five of them.
Oh, you just mean in general. Oh, sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't watch too many, like, video series Let's Play kind of things on YouTube. All I watch on YouTube is cooking videos, <laughs> not gonna lie. And some other stuff from, like, other Hollow Knight content creators. <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting cooking videos. I watched Ethan Schlebowski's uh, balsamic vinaigrette series recently. Just watch it while I'm like uh, eating or whatever. Let's get stalwart shells so we can test this out. Let's get a mask shard. Mods and challenges in video games, yeah. Those are pretty fun to watch, too. Sometimes I'll watch, like, uh, Dog Dog and Point Crow. We also have, like, pretty similar content styles, so I try to get ideas from them. <laughs> in case anyone hasn't noticed, like, this stupid AI video I made. AI storytelling. Um, I don't know if I want to bother with Long Nail, to be honest. I think, like, I can hit enough enemies per swing that I can get enough soul for a cast a lot of the times in one hit anyway. Mythical Kitchen. Uh, Josh? Like, Joshua Wiseman? I don't know a Mythical Kitchen. Hmm, what should I do next? It's gotta be something good to buy, right? I need a bit more Geo to afford the mask, which I should probably get. Hmm, <laughs> I'm being so indecisive right now, I apologize. But this is difficult for my brain. I could go and get Howling Wraiths. Might be a good idea. Just to get the final spell. Although, with this mod, I'm probably not using Wraiths that much. Maybe a little bit. Uh, let's go into let's go into Waterways so I can get the mask shard there. And then we're actually going somewhere instead of Doing nothing. Okay, see you, Rune. Thanks for hanging out. It's nice having you. Mm. Yeah, I kind of just like the extra health. Health is nice to have for a change. Okay, I might check it out, Circles. I enjoy my cooking videos. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't hit. I think I've like actually not ever heard of it before. Grind a few heavy sentries, that's probably a good idea. Why are there hoppers in waterways? This is not okay anymore. Oh, do they all give Geo? Oh, they all give Geo. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad. Oh, they don't all give Geo. This is bad. Oh my god. No. There's worms. Aren't there? I heard the sound of them. That horrible sound. No more worms. <laughs> Not like last time. Jesus Christ, that's too many. Oh no. 
<laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. This is why, this is what stopped me in my previous playthrough was worms. <laughs> At least they don't crash the game this time. My computer can withstand the worms. Pill flips were too easy. Gotta replace them with great hoppers. Jesus. Yeah, let's go do fluke marm. There's so much lag that I couldn't get the spell off in time. tried to upslash that. I was optimistic to think I could do that. <laughs> this is a good spot to farm essence. <laughs> oh my god. Get this shortcut, because I feel like that's a good idea. Fluke bullet hell. I wonder what fluke marm's gonna be like. Can't wait to find out. Okay. Because of the fact that fluke marms were stacked, even though they have extra HP, it was still very easy to kill them. I just got more soul. Uh, Fluke Nest might actually be good. I don't know. I don't know how uh, Fluke Nest interacts with like a million boss hitboxes. If the flukes will just like be evenly distributed between the bosses or if the flukes are gonna glitch out and hit like a million times. Let's go kill Dung Defender. Oh, I should have. I should bench first. Very hard. I was expecting some crazy shit from Luke Marm. Instead, Luke Marm was pretty basic. Just chilling. <laughs> I like it. It's probably gonna activate now. Yep. <laughs> All right. Good. Felt would have felt bad just beating up on Dung Defender while he's chilling, trying to relax. the double scream. Oh, this is kind of tricky. Oh, Dung Defender's underground. Dung Defender sometimes falls out of the arena. This even happens in vanilla Hollow Knight. And once Dung Defender does the attack for a burrows in the ground like that, then he teleports back to the arena. Okay. That was pretty easy. I need to get some soul to, uh, dive. Luke Ness will decrease the range of fireball. Yeah. 
It's not gonna be it's not gonna be good against basic enemies. Might be interesting against bosses though. <laughs> First fight that feels fair. That one was too easy. I could have used some more difficulty there. Oh god. Oh really? Come on. Oh whoops. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit there. Nice wall jump. I am definitely not making it to Isthmus anymore, even if I get this skip first try, which I did not. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Getting through the harps in one hit. With, with one hit of life, rather. And we have to do the acid skip, too. It's gonna be rough, actually. Are they all dead? Just have to pray. Are we actually gonna do this? Oh, we did it. Okay. One HP is Mystir. Not bad. Best of luck with P5. Oh, I mean Loki. Good luck with P5. You got this. Mm. What now? I feel like I could do Lost Kin right now. Oh, all of the harps respond. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're trying P5 all bindings? Good luck with that. Oh! <laughs> I had to say it. I had to celebrate my victory. Uh, let's just warp to this bench to get our shade. I, I need the shade because it has like 1500 Geo. Yeah, I think Hornet... Mm, yeah. Hornet 2 would not be a bad option, that way I could get Shade Cloak. Oh yeah, someone else is doing all bindings, uh, day-night. Good luck with regular P5, though. I'm gonna go to Sly and get a sh uh, Mask Shard. Because I may as well grab this while I have the money. Or I could get a Vessel Fragment. Let's get the Mask Shard. Because I feel like even though I use all my soul for Descending Dark, I feel like with the multiple bosses, you can collect so much soul so quickly. I'm gonna go to Basin first, just to clear it. Because I feel like Lost Kin shouldn't be too bad. With my setup. And then we'll do Hornet 2. And then... Let's get the scrub. Did I get the scrub already? I did not. Just 
Shape of Un goes under. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny when you can use it to go under things. Like, recently people just found out you can use it to do, like, a tiny skip in the White Palace by just, like, using Shape of Un to go underneath the saw blade. It's such a funny skip. Like, no one would expect Shape of Un to actually allow you to skip something. Right? I am taking too much damage. Why am I... should not be above the boss like that. Oh my god. is better. How much uh, soul I'm getting. How much was the boss at? 20 HP. This <laughs> was one hit. Okay. Is it normal for Fluke Nest to kill one enemy multiple times on a current patch? Uh, I don't think so. That is a thing on an older patch, like one specific patch where Fluke Nest would multi-kill enemies. Oh, I was not ready for that jump. Oh, I was not ready for that stupid back up. Was not ready for that super jump, Jesus Christ. I think they were super low again. I have an alternate YouTube account called Slug Strats. Holy shit. You love Shape of Un more than I do, Circles. I mean, I just have like a... I, I'm a Shape of Un enjoyer, not a Shape of Un obsessor. <laughs> There's anything wrong with that. Oh, it's just getting pushed. Oh my god, that's. I can't react to that shit. Why did it get hit to the right? Was there a blob that spawned and died instantly? There's some weird things that happen because, like, of the way the boss gets knocked around by the ads. Lots of weird movement that you would not expect. <clears throat> okay. 
Nice. Now that that's done, let's go do Hornets. I think Hornets should be probably even easier than that, to be honest. How much health? Joni's is not giving me that much health. Let's, uh... I feel like Grub Song's not worth it, but we can use it. Is Joni's Joni's must be nerfed with this mod because it's like not giving very much health at all or lifeblood, but still. Play on an old MacBook Air that lags and misses inputs. Ah. I feel like I should be taking advantage of that opening where they're just sitting there. I tried to left slash to hit that hornet that was diving at me away, but I missed. <laughs> that was actually kind of close. I don't, I don't think hornet two is going to be very hard. The boss just doesn't have like that much HP. Like obviously the fight is pretty ridiculous to dodge anything in, but the boss does not have much HP, so you can kind of just kill it. See anything that hit me? Oh. Yeah, got hit during the D Dark startup frames. <clears throat> uh, I'm still a couple charms away from getting another Salubra Charm Notch. But I will get the Charm Notch as soon as I can. I can get the Fog Ganyan Charm Notch when I go down to Monomon, which I should probably do soonish because the Charm Notch will help a lot. Like Spell Twister will be nice for Shade Souling. Oh, we have less Hornets this time. <laughs> Good Hornet RNG. kind of manageable number of hornets this time. HP. Goodbye, Hornets. In the ground, Hornets who couldn't join us. Sounds like a band. Yep, totally. <laughs> So if I want to do the Abyss, I should get Howling Wraiths first, because otherwise I'll have to go back for it. Because I think it'll be good for Absolute Radiance and maybe Galleon and Markoth as well, because those bosses might be pretty annoying. Thanks, Circles. So let's, uh... Getting, getting there is going to be pretty annoying. It would actually be easier to get Howling Wraiths after getting Shade Cloak, because I could get in through Queen's Gardens. But let's let's go for it. 
Let's use this. This. And. <laughs> Why does Dream Shield cost three? Dream Shield should really cost you. Oh. I forgot about this. Dash Master. Oh yeah, Shio's a good idea. Yo, Marion. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Wait. Oh, I'm going to the soul vessel. But that's okay, I need that anyway. Ouch. I cannot see dash. Yeah. Good luck, Loki. You got this. Oh. Gave myself float. that. Sometimes you get floats and you have to get rid of it by uh, casting a spell. Yeah, people have been really generous, Marion, so it's, it's nice. Yeah, sometimes on YouTube, your uh, stream gets delayed and you don't really notice it. Happens more often on YouTube than on Twitch, I find. So if you don't have the uh, red button next to live, then you can hit that to get brought back up to uh, real time. Okay, no fool eaters in here. Just many eventualize for squids or whatever they're called. <laughs> what? Let's make sure to kill them before they can duplicate. <laughs> oh, whoops. I'm sure the gate's open by now, yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy. Ah, uh, okay. So I got Howling Wraiths. Mm. What next? Abyss? Abyss. It's Abyss time. Got the Sisters of Battle, nice. GG. Okay, after I get Shade Cloak, I'm gonna take a short break. <clears throat> Not gonna bother with Lifeblood Core, because that doesn't seem... Uh, maybe it is worth it. Because uh, Joni's Blessing seems to be nerfed, so maybe the Lifeblood Core is actually worth it. Assuming I could actually open the door. Like, because of the fact that Joni's is nerfed, it might be very difficult to get the door open. Oh, you lost the run, Loki? Oh, you beat them? Okay. So I, I did interpret you correctly. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. Okay, we have Shriek. Now let's go get Shake Cloak real quick. How bad is High Blood? High Blood would not be good for this because you get hit too quickly. It takes 10 seconds to regenerate a health, so... 
it's just too long. I think Hive Blood. Oh, oh yeah, there's no platforms. I think Hive Blood um, is a little bit underrated in the base game. But for this, it wouldn't be super effective. is hardest base game uh probably umu or watcher knights probably watcher knights so i'm just judging based off the any percent speed run oh, oops. oh let's get this uh relic Watcher Knights are not too bad with all the upgrades and everything, once you know how to use... Uh... <laughs> Why have I not updated my bench warp? Once you know how to use Descending Dark, Watcher Knights aren't too bad. But um, in the any percent speedrun where you just have uh, Vengeful Spirit and Shaman Stone, they're pretty tough. Mm, maybe I move on to Dreamers after this. 112%. Mm, honestly, I don't know. I think the collector with um, restrictions is like the hardest boss. Like if you have all bindings, collector is super hard. And if you have like old nail white spells, that kind of thing, then collector becomes by far the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> Hope you had a nice nap, Vampy. I'm just about to take a slightly extended break to get some food in me. So I'll be right back in like five minutes or so. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate y'all. And uh, we might be able to finish this today, actually. Be right back. Zuta! Zuta!
what's up everyone? How's it going? And Crystal Nash in the top corner of the room. I didn't know you did that. For Trader Lord. <clears throat> You're valid though. It's a valid strategy. And I mean, to be fair, that's the only good use of uh, the pet charms. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you lost the run, Loki. Other than other than Grub Song, Weaver Song. Actually, I wonder if Grub Song, Weaver Song is good for this. <clears throat> if the stream is delayed, you can uh, like on the player. There's like a live um, indicator with like a red dot or it's grayed out if you're not caught up. You can click on that and it'll bring you live again. Like it'll catch you up automatically. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's kind of like just hitting the dots red, really? Oh, shit, I don't know. Okay, so... I want to finish a mask, so I'm going to do Enraged Guardian, and I'm going to... What's the other easy mask charts? Do I have Queen Station? This is the one I need to kill. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Go <laughs> take another break. We were enjoying story time. Wait. I'm soft locked. Come on, game. Hey, okay, close your eyes. I'm glad you're back to. The other what's the other boss that gives a mask shard i'm so like lost on where the mask shards in this game are there's one from the seer right right oh is there yeah there is one from gray mourner which i'm definitely not doing so i'm limiting myself to eight masks because that's that's not happening that would be so annoying to try and do. <laughs> um, I work what's to do it. I don't know about that one. I don't even think I'm going to get nail four because I don't know if I want to do the Colosseum. I might just settle for nail three. Let's, uh, let's check Queen Station, because I forget if I did that. Back from a long errand trip, so sad I missed a bunch. Welcome back, Kindergartens. Kindergartist. <clears throat> Jesus. Good to have you here. Oh, I did get this. Okay. Maybe it would be good to go through, like, the Monomon route and get that Charm Notch. I think that would be helpful. 1500 essence? Yeah. Okay. Well, I need to get essence either way, so... I don't know. And I think... I think um, Soul, Soul Tyrants and Failed Champion wouldn't be too bad at this point. Because I think I'm strong enough that I could kind of 
kill them pretty quickly. Maybe not failed champion because of the temple damage. Oh god. This is this is fun. Oh, I should have uh, used the leg eater bench, I think. Getting that notch is going to be tricky. We got this. Where else is there a mask shard? There's like, <clears throat> let's uh, let's actually put on um, Sol Rochelle. There's a mask shard in the hive. There's one in fungal core. I'm actually pretty close to right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna use invincibility. Ruins the challenge. Okay, this was not too bad to get. Ouch. <laughs> I can damage tank to get to Umu. Oh my god, I was trying to descending dark. I am stuck. Okay. Nope. Still electricity in here? Come on, dude. Okay, Umu is gonna be interesting. We won't snitch. I don't know, I don't trust you guys. Okay, I can do this. It's definitely gonna be annoying though. Oh, how many Umus are there gonna be? This one? This one who moves not bad. Oh, why did I do that? just broken. Where'd the other one go? What? What happened to the other Umu? Oh my god, what? <clears throat> they were just stacked up, so I couldn't see them. Both. Why do the Luma flies sometimes stop? Because I'm in the acid? No. Oh, maybe they stop when Umu becomes vulnerable? No. No, oh, I... <clears throat> Why did I think I would go left? Okay, Manatee, have a safe drive home. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Oh my god. Why? What? Came ate my jump input. I jumped and then dashed. I just need to like try to use like a two cycle strat, I think. That's not it. And uh, I need 
need to take stalwart shell off. It's, it's not useful for this fight. Same with Dash Master, not too useful. I should actually use Shaman Stone. So I'm gonna be so reliant on spell damage for this fight. Axexu production? What? Uh oh I have enough notches for spell twister or shaman stone now. See us, sorry sheep. Enjoy the food. Oh, I don't have Dash Master. Oops. Okay, let's work back. I think mm, Spell Twister is good. Maybe Lifeblood Heart instead of Spell Twister, though. Because I really don't have enough health. I should go right side as well. That left side is stupid. No. Why did I dash like that? No, let's just die. Not living. Then let's go right side, because left side is not working out. Why does it deal double damage like that? Come on, game. I think. The jellies are actually blowing up randomly. They're not even getting blown up by the electricity following me. Does anyone else notice that? They just, like, die randomly for no reason. Even though, like, my electricity is not in range. Should be coming into this with full soul, for sure. What is going on? That uh that instance of Umu is still like vulnerable. It just has the giant, like normal sized hitbox. Who's <laughs> with Pearl? What the heck? I just need to go into the fight with full soul, and I can do it. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it's just teleported onto me from off screen. Sometimes the, um, when the game's laggy, sometimes those, uh, Jellyfish explosions do not um, have any collision physics. So that's what happened. They just teleport onto you, basically. Shriek. I need to uh, lure them to the top of the screen, I think. If I lure them to the top of the screen, then I can shriek them more easily. Ugh. I 
I need in soul. Probably should even go back for full soul, to be honest. I think it's worth it to try and one cycle Umu, even if I take damage getting into the like going into the fight. Uh okay, the Umus are desynced. What? Oh the other Umu just spawned for some reason. Cycle. Okay, I just need to focus on one new move. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the Hue Shifter mod is gonna need. Gives everything such like a unique aesthetic. See, like, what killed those jellyfish right next to me? Nothing. There was literally nothing. And that's happened every time I've walked by them. They just die. Uh, I'm gonna warp back. So I can get health and try again. <laughs> this spot is pretty annoying. Okay, I finally got the dive. Smarter than this. Oh my god, the lag is so bad. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna live for another phase. I have, like, no control of my character, which makes this a lot more difficult. No. Okay. We got it. <laughs> I knew the boss was low. I was trying to shade soul, but I didn't have any soul, so... <laughs> I'm glad that hit killed it. This is not my favorite god soul encounter. That's okay, because we're done. It seems like the jellies are programmed to die when you get close to them, instead of dying, like, for any reason that makes sense. Like, I assumed they were dying because of the electricity hitting them, but they're just dying. For no reason. <laughs> New security system, yep. It's, it's a pretty good one. Touch moment. <laughs> Thank you. How's the game going? It's going. We are progressing. We are making progress. After this, I might go into fungal core. Uh, then go through Deep Nest. I think that makes the most sense. So I can get a Mask Shard and then... Hmm... I don't know if I'm gonna bother with Nosk. Because, like... It doesn't really matter if I get... Another Nail Upgrade will help, but it's gonna take a bunch of time. 
And I'm pretty sure I can do THK and Radiance, because, like, those are bosses that I'm pretty experienced at. Even if they've got some extra challenges, I don't think they'll be super hard. Although, maybe I will eat my words. See? They're just dying for no reason. I'm not crazy. They are dying for no reason. Mmm, shaman stone. Uh, it's kind of sad the shaman stone is like still probably the best option here. How many watcher knights? Kind of curious, but. I... I'm not too worried about Watcher Knights. Uh, let's, let's go to Fungal Core. So, closest bench is Bretta, I guess? Okay, give Hana some pets for me. Have a nice walk. I tried so hard to dodge that. I input my dash, but there were so many freeze frames that it still didn't happen. Um, okay. No projectiles here, but are there projectiles here? Please, no. Thank god. Okay, fungal core is gonna be easy. There's just a million enemies. Second win. Okay. I actually am not sure what's uh, different in Deep Nest. Curious about that. But uh, I think it makes more sense to enter. Deep nest through Queen's Gardens. So let's go to Queen Station. We'll go through QGA from there. Mm, yeah, Sharp Shadow. Uh, could be useful. the worst area. Why am I going through here? This was a bad idea. Oh, it doesn't... It is going in acid that stops that. Really? That's weird. I find that surprising. Oh! Okay. This just has everything. Awesome. I love it. Let's go get the shortcut up above, if I can. I don't even know how helpful this is going to be, but... At least I'll have the feeling that I made some progress. <laughs> it's like, where would I get that bench from? Yeah, I guess... Uh, Deep Nest is looking a lot more appealing now. How am I gonna get to Marmu? Marmu is like pretty deep in Queen's Gardens. What other mask shard can I get easily? Oops. Yeah, let's do Dream Bosses. Because I can work toward 1500 Essence and get that mask shard, and I need bosses at some point anyway, so I might as well just do them now. So I can do Failed Champion first. Um, let's 
try again. <laughs> I I don't expect those uh, infected vanish flies to die in one hit. Normally they die in like 20 hits. Oh my god. Why can I not control my character? Oops. Okay. I'm forgetting the gimmick here. I'll get a heal when I die and fail champion anyway. If I die. When I die. <laughs> no, they... <laughs> these, these guys are duplicated too. It's funny. So I don't have to feel oh, guilty about killing them. They also explode. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do Soul Tyrant. <clears throat> wonder if it would be easier to do some of the uh, optional... Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna have to use the same strat as I used for uh, all snipe. Just have to keep those uh, extra duplicated bosses asleep by hitting them intermittently. But it's gonna be hard to uh, not wake them up. Reset the timer for the boss waking up by hitting its armor. Normally if you hit its head, which also does the same thing, then it'll wake up eventually, but if you hit the armor, you can just keep it asleep forever. So well, we're gonna have to try to do that. It's definitely gonna be tricky. My dash length got elongated so much. Anyone see that? Just because of the lag, like my dash just kept on going instead of stopping. <laughs> oh my god. What? They were one hit away? Yeah. You can all wake those ones up. Upside down hoppers are so creepy. I... <clears throat> What was I going to say? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, my, my brain is going to jumble up. I need, uh, I need my shade. So I need to get my shade back. Because the extra soul is going to help a lot in this fight. to follow where the boss goes. I don't decide where failed champion goes. You can't really AI manipulate them in any direction. Jesus Christ. No, I want shaman stone still. Oh, well, fragile strength isn't a bad idea though. Might be worth picking up just for the dream fights. <clears throat> Need your shade, just go to Gigi. I, uh, oh. It's faster just to die. Nice. 
I should definitely not dash there. Is it shaking? Oh, okay. You really have to stay on top of them. extra hit of survivability. Jesus, it's so laggy. This is doable, but the number of fail champions, like the lag, makes it pretty difficult. Like just uh, having that many enemies on the screen. Ah, that hit them. And like, mm, I need to be really careful to keep hitting them. If I had, like, a little bit more damage output, this wouldn't be so bad. But getting all the upgrades is definitely tricky, or at least time-consuming. to them but I think I hit the hit them <laughs> I dashed to the perfect spot oops uh we can do this yeah, last game was pretty easy. Dream Wielder would actually be helpful here to Dream Nail the, the sleeping ones. Just need like a hundred more essence for Dream Wielder. Mm. 
pieces. For some reason, I thought it was going to jump. Oops. That's okay. We, this is 100% doable. Uh, essence. No, only enemies multiply, not essence trees. Why can't I swing? Oh, okay. I was not able to swing. But, good thing I finished anyway. The game gets so glitchy with all the lag. Like, holy fuck. I think it was that my jump inputs weren't registering, so I couldn't pogo. But I was actually, like, swinging left and right. Very jank, but... We've, we've finished it. Oops. I didn't mess up. I was doing the inputs right. The game was too laggy. <laughs> Slight copium, but also kind of true. Um, let's do Sanctum. Hopefully Soul Tyrant isn't too bad. Soul Master was pretty easy. Uh, seems like engine limitations are not considered when people make mods. Usually they are. <laughs> God Soul is like a bit of an exception. With God Soul, it's like you just gotta embrace the jank, I guess. Like, the reason why I didn't play God Soul the first time, or why I stopped playing, was because my game was just freezing whenever I got to the Horms, so I couldn't uh, get Isma's tier. And I was like, alright, <laughs> I think I've had enough. And now I've just got a better PC. So, I think for most people, the game would still crash on the Horms, but... Yeah, is how it is. Wait, where's the other one? 
Oh. They're just like in sync. it has oh no it's not permanent it just temporarily had the extra project projectiles orbiting it i should have shade clip through that i got kind of owned normally that moves upward like those projectiles when they drop off of soul iron they like move upward that was kind of weird greatest. Bro stole his partner's orbs. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to play these kinds of mods. Kind of teaches you the lesson that less is more sometimes. It's also kind of the point of the mod to be silly, so. are stealing each other's orbs. Excuse me. I just got float randomly. That did not help. I'm so confused. Why are you just sitting there? That's <laughs> so distracting. What is it doing? <laughs> Alright. It was just sitting there. trying to intimidate me, and it kind of succeeded, so.
point of the mod was to teach children life lessons. Yeah, life's not fair. That's the point of God's soul. Um, could get Galleon in Deep Nest and Markov as well. Let's do Markov right now. Markov shouldn't be too bad with spells. But we have Nail 3, so they also... Dream Warriors scale with your Nail damage, like they have more HP. So that could make it kind of tricky, but give it a try. Cat keeps flopping on the keyboard. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I feel like the other bench might be easier. This one's not too bad. I could go get Dreamgate. That would be helpful. Oh, of course, the stalactite hits me, of all things. RNG of where they move. Yeah. <laughs> this room was not made to house great hoppers. <laughs> two Markoths? I'm surprised. It's like Dream Warriors die pretty quickly to spells, so I feel like I kind of expected more, but that's okay. Stalagmite, thank you. Very important. <laughs> Gonna kill pure vessel and watch the stream. Good luck. I wonder if the soul vessels get expended when I use Descending Dark. Kind of curious about that. Yo, thanks a lot. <laughs> blank name because Stream Elements censored it. Thanks a lot, Melissa. I appreciate it. Saved my life. Interesting. Don't recall doing that. Welcome. Uh, best path into Deep Nest is through Queen Station, for sure. It'll be easiest, I think. So lag mites are... Wait, so I was right? Oh my god. I'm getting gaslit by chat. <laughs> I thought I had it right. Come on guys, this is this is important stuff. Is it a stalagmite or is it a stalactite? Thank you, Psycho Ninja. So what is what is the new thing in here? Holds tightly to the top. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with calling them spiky rock. He 
Is there nothing new in Deep Nest? Or is it just like, once I get to the dark rooms, there's gonna be some crazy shit? Silverfish spam? Is this Minecraft? <laughs> You mean dirt carver? Yep. Lots of uh, those corpse spiders. Um, I don't really need tramp ass. So I'm just gonna go to Gillian, then go to Hera, I think. I forgot their name is valid. <laughs> Just decent. I knew I was gonna get hit, but it was worth it. Uh, I could go grab the uh, lifeblood, right? May as well. Okay, let's see what this is. It's probably two aliens, I guess. Maybe three. Probably two. There's... A pretty similar amount of projectiles, isn't there? <laughs> what? This was easier than normal Galeon. <laughs> that was not very challenging. How much essence do I need for Awoken Dream Nail? Oh, oops. <laughs> Give Hana a new squeaky toy. No. Cute. 2600. <laughs> mm hmm. I don't know much about Hollow Knight, but it sounds like a bit much. 1800? All good. This room is awfully laggy. I feel like maybe I should go up and get the toll bench while I'm here and while I have health. Or I could just stream gate right here. Stream gate. I have dream gate. I got it. What? Why don't I have dream gate? I a hundred percent got it. Welcome back, Vampy. <laughs> Give Hana pets for me. I think I said that when you left, too, but, you know, double the pets. Can, can you go this way without unlocking the shortcut? Oh yeah, okay. How does the game... the game, uh, it does. Not in a good way. It's been brutal. For the past like hour or so but we are going to succeed <sighs> i don't have enough geo are you kidding me game i have to collect geo with all the shit flying around Maybe it's not in this screen, because of the arena. Why would I assume that the dev has a heart? Why didn't- why wasn't I able to jump? Come on, game. I need 30 geo. Wait, why is it not happening now? 
I'm so confused. Oh, I've almost got enough. What? <laughs> the, the jank in this mod sometimes. I believe in you. Thank you. I believe in you too. You fuckers. Come on. Why didn't I have a dash? I dashed off the platform. Come on, game. I actually might have walked off the platform. <laughs> that one might be my bad. But I really thought I would have had a dash. It's okay, it's the lag. It's the lag. Always the lag. my birthday. I'm allowed to cope. That's <laughs> an immediate backtrack. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Okay, I just need to get my shade. as a treat. It happens, yeah. Mistakes happen sometimes. Usually it's the game's fault. Like 90%. decided this would be good. You... Okay, focus. You fuckers. I did a good pogo. I deserve to live for that. Why? Why is my shade not... Come on. Okay, I'm moving my shade one screen closer, at least. Okay. Maybe living? Please. Please let me get this bench. You... <laughs> so much. Holy shit. We got a new god gamer. <laughs> Thanks so much. And Is that how you pronounce it? Thank you very much for the god gamer membership. Really appreciate it. That is extremely kind of you. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Peace. I just want 
the bench. Please. No. You're not killing me again. Okay, thank god. I love your videos. <laughs> thank you. Glad you enjoy the content. This is what hell looks like. Jesus. Noida. I actually bought Noida off the, uh, like, with the Steam Summer Sale. I decided to try it because it's up my alley. I wish I could stream games like that a bit more, but I have to limit how much I sit. And I often don't have the energy to stream all the time anyway. I usually focus on making videos. Kinder artist. Yeah, last time I made it up to this was tier. This time. Wait, I, I do have enough essence. Is it 1900 or 1800? Or, um. Awoken Dream Nail. 1800? Okay. Okay. So I just need. Uh, kind of surprised Beast Den is just normal. No, it's just got some bonus devouts. It's so laggy. Okay. Thank you for the confirmation. thrown at you every three seconds. It's more like every one second or point eight seconds. <laughs> uh, memberships last one month by default. It's like a monthly subscription, just like uh, Twitch. If you get a membership um, I've been trying to post more members-only videos, like, typically it's just things that <clears throat> wouldn't get posted otherwise, because with the way that the YouTube algorithm works, you have, you have to kind of focus on quality over quantity. Holy shit, that's a lot of devouts. <laughs> so there's some things that... Normally, I wouldn't have posted that get posted to members only that are still like fun concepts, but aren't like enough for like a full video. Uh, okay, let's get this stag. I don't need the stag, but I guess I may as well get it. Then. We need to get the white fragment. This is going to be tricky. So we're going into, um, where are we going? Resting grounds? No, gardens. Jesus Christ, my brain's not functioning. <laughs> Resting grounds. Resting grounds to get the white fragment. Okay, we have to do this arena. This is gonna be a nightmare. Actually, we only have to kill a certain number of enemies to progress the arena. So we just need to get a bunch of kills. Oh 
why is it just standing? I finished it? Yes, I finished it. I'm glad you were able to watch the stream, Loki. I know I don't stream too often lately. I used to stream um, every weekend, but I find that's kind of hard to do nowadays. But I am trying to do it, like one stream a week now. Shortcut. Okay. Yeah. One HP Trader Lord. This is happening. Oh <laughs> Yo, thanks so much, Kindergartus. Really appreciate that. That's super kind of you. If you got a sub, make sure to thank your gifter or a membership. If you got a membership, make sure to thank your gifter. Uh. So now that that's open, I could enter through Queen's Gardens and get the... Getting the Queen's Gardens bench is impossible. Like the coral, coral bench? Or cornifer bench. Do flower quest. <laughs> flower quest might be doable, but the Queen's Gardens projectiles that fly onto the screen, sometimes they just fly onto the screen while you're, like, right in front of it, so you have no time to react. If it was just, like, the crossroads kind of gimmick, or, like, just multiple enemies, it would be doable. And it still is doable, but it's kind of RNG right at the end. Uh, I wonder if this might just be the best way to go. It's definitely really difficult, though. Oh, I didn't take damage from that. <laughs> Maybe Carefree Melody wouldn't be bad. Oh, your birthday soon, too, Kindergartist? When's your birthday? Oh, God. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Kindergartist donated $5. Had to shower you for your birthday fire. We're Cancer Buddies. Growing heart. Happy birthday. Hey, see you, Cube. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, all the yeses and chatter telling me to get a cat. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. I plan to get a cat regardless. Mm, carefree Melody would be nice, but... Oh, okay, Joni's Blessing is starting to scale and be useful. Let's, let's go with that. Yo, Athena, welcome in. Yeah, people have been very generous today, and I really appreciate it. it means a lot, especially because I got the wedding expenses coming up.
these are like really rewarding to dodge when you can when you actually can dodge them oops that was my bad sometimes they're just like not realistic to dodge at all so <laughs> Shriek got interrupted. Just keeping Apollo. Yeah. Apollo is such a good cat. I love Apollo. Still sometimes revisit <laughs> the Apollo pictures on my phone. Because the cat is so photogenic. Except for that one picture I took. Where he's like sitting in the corner licking himself. Mm, I feel like navigating. Oh, why did I. Why did that happen? Not the double hit. Okay. I wonder... Actually, I have an idea. Probably not going to be able to do it this time, but... Yeah. I need to uh, unlock the shortcut. Um, past Massive Moss Charger. And then I can get into Queen's Gardens. I'll go through less Queen's Garden screens total. I'll just go through Green Path screens, which are pretty easy, comparatively. <sighs> no, you... Wow, what is happening? The fact that the fool leaders are spawning is like messing up the platforming. <laughs> it's like knocking me off the platform when they spawn. Oh, come on. Question that one. All right, <laughs> good. Now I can take the bench at Stone Sanctuary. Yeah, go click on that Instagram link. It's Hana and Apollo, cute as fuck. Oops, I'm not supposed to swear on YouTube. Might go over my swearing limit. <laughs> Yo, thanks so much, Distant Reality. I appreciate it. And that is... Yeah, postcard raffle number eight. Not so much support this stream. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Yeah, so if... Uh, for those of you who got memberships this stream... Uh, make sure to link your Discord account to YouTube, which you can do in your Discord settings. And join the Discord. We'll get access to a channel eventually. When I make it for the raffle. Okay. Uh, this is cursed. This is very cursed. Having donated five dollars and forty-three cents. 
Hey Fire, I'm not a member but still wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I haven't I died yet? But it only deals one health damage. Okay, we killed it. <laughs> that was, uh. I thought it would only be one Traitor Lord because of all the crap already on the screen. But. There were two. Still managed. At least the boss doesn't have that much health. So you can kind of burn it down. And it really helps to focus one copy of the boss because you only need to kill one, so. Thanks for the GG's. And welcome, Manatee. Hope you had a nice day at work. I think you might have been here for a while, but I am. My brain's not functioning, so. <laughs> Oops. Dreamgate would make this so much more palatable. Recite the entire elegy for Hollow Nest. I don't know any. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kindergartist. Yeah, me and uh, Vampy are getting married in August. Late August. So, really soon. Alright. <clears throat> so, we need to do Watcher Nights and White Palace, and then we're done. I should probably take another break before then, but I feel okay for now, so... <laughs> We've actually got this. The rest... Well, I don't know what White... I don't know what's waiting for me in White Palace. So maybe I... Maybe I shouldn't talk yet. Volatile Zotling. Yep, that's what's waiting for me. Dreamgate is banned on this uh, mod for some reason. I was not expecting that to be the case. But like, I got Dreamgate and it just doesn't even show up in my inventory. So hopefully Awoken Dream Nail works. I assume it will. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank God for damage tanking. I'm dumb, I only know Hollow Knight stuff. Same. 
Actually, my Hollow Knight knowledge is lacking. I only know Hollow Knight mechanics. Don't ask me any lore questions. Yo, thanks so much, Northern Pluto. Welcome, welcome. I was gonna say you don't know all the night stuff. Wow. <clears throat> True, though. Why is there a song? Oh. This is... This is actually... This is the Vampy Cat color palette, isn't it? Kind of. It's your brand. Oh. Oh, come on. Should not have got hit by that. What is going on with this one? Not with the green. <laughs> Almost. It's close. If you're colorblind, it's like basically the same. Oh, I thought I'd get past that one. Yeah, see, Watcher Knights are not... not... challenging. There's <laughs> four thrones. <laughs> Yeah, I... I legitimately had no clue. How do I connect my YouTube account to Discord again? So go into Discord and on the bottom left, near your username, there should be like a settings cog. In there, there's a connections menu, and uh, you click on the YouTube symbol and login. Why can't I donate? Uh, it might be like regional restrictions. Um, there is a donation link in the description, um, unless that's what you're talking about. And then, I don't know. YouTube super chats take a cut anyway. Do you really want to give YouTube a cut? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> what single enemy drops the most geo? <gasps> Stream elements don't know pages down. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oops. We gotta stop the stream. <laughs> This is all, it's, it's only going to take a second, so. Okay, it's updated. It's because I was messing with it yesterday. Oops. That's okay. Everybody freeze. Okay. Uh, what next? White Palace? So, Basin? You know whose don't know page isn't down? Holy. It's my birthday. You can't advertise your stream on my birthday. Although, actually, go ahead. Um. Actually, hive. Why am I soft locked? Or hard locked, actually. <clears throat> Money goes to the same place. Yeah, true. Hollow Knight stream suggestions, like streamers to watch.
Oh yeah, I was yelling at Vampy. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no worries. No, only one wedding. Okay, let's get Woken Dream Nail. And then we can go into White Palace. You could do Steel Soul. You just need a, a route. Uh, hidden station. <laughs> Birthday boy privileges. Yep. Let's just <laughs> not do that. Let's get the health uh, recovery. All right, so we're doing White Palace with Radiance Beams hitting us. That's cool. And duplicated King's Molts. Oh, God. It's okay, there's lots of benches in White Palace. Oh, yeah. Good call, Manatee. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Should definitely take a break before White Malice. Okay. <clears throat> Taking a quick uh, three or five minute break. Be right back. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Appreciate y'all. And when we come back, I will finish God's Soul. Hopefully. Zada!
Hope you all are doing well. <laughs> Circles, I was just about to say that once stream is done, I'm ordering sushi. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. that the light? I think it was the light. Oh shit, I can't just climb the wall. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see because Q swapper or Q shifter or whatever it's called has made the area yellow, which is like the same color as the beam of light. Not good RNG there. Not the best. It's so hard to see sometimes, though. It's okay. We got this. My favorite mod, Pale Court, then... Colonist? No, HKMP. HKMP, I forgot about HKMP. Come on, let me do this. Please. Had that. Oh my god. Awkward. Why don't I just do that? I feel like I'm not making it through here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, have fun with Divinity, Vampy. Enjoy. I'll wrap up in like the next 20 minutes. Easy. I'll be done soon. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe the bottom route was better. The bottom route's better. I don't even know the saw, saw patterns on this part because I never go through here. Oh, it's just... Oh, that's it. Uh... <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, I feel like Dash Master is not that important. Um, I'm going to use Stalwart Shell. Because it seems like a good idea to avoid getting double hit by things. Okay. Yeah, the lasers are going to be tricky in some parts. But I just need to play well. There's new saw blades? Wait. What? Huh? Huh? What? what? I'm so confused. What is happening? Why? <laughs> what is this? Huh? What? Why is it like this? Oh my god. Stop. Don't die after all that. I'm so confused. Why are the saw blades, like, shifted? Not complaining, but it's weird. Okay, we've got through the first part. 
Oh, we can Trogo. Trogos are legit, as voted by the speedrunning community. <laughs> Actually, we could probably even damage... No, you can't damage take that. Okay, I give up on the Shroko. I don't have any soul. You guys don't know Shrogos? You can pogo your own Abyss Shriek. That's like the only spot where you can do the skip. I mean, I don't blame anyone for not knowing it. Because we didn't... Speedrunners did not find out about it. Oh, I was expecting the regular amount of knockback. You bastard game. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Never heard of it named that way. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that explains that. Yeah, timing the Shrogo is tough. Uh, actually, let's go for Shrogo. <laughs> that seems easier. Um, use Spell Twister to make it a bit more consistent. Oh, why am I I'm killing them? Why, why, why am I doing that? I need them for Dream Nailing. No, I almost had it. I think you need two if you're starting from that spot. Nope. Ah, oh, I got knocked back in the wrong direction. That's okay. I'm gonna get it and then die. I had it. Oh my god. You have to get two of them in a row with the movement that I use. Oh, back to the title screen. <laughs> Yo, thanks so much, Daniel Griffin. I appreciate it. Damage tanking should definitely be possible. I should um, get rid of Stalwart. Oh, I don't have it on. Oops, never mind. Shouldn't. <laughs> can't get rid of something I don't have equipped. There we go. Why did I celebrate? <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I even said it. So I wanted to thank you for all the guides and help in using them a lot this month. Good luck with all the learning. You're very welcome. No. Oh, thanks so much, Bless Escape. I appreciate that a lot. What? I just missed the timing. Holy crap. Why? Why am I... <laughs> okay. We got this. This is not that hard, but... The... Uh, Beams throw me off so much. Here we go. NMG Shrogos Strats. I'm 
become brain fried from the torment. I've always been brain fried. Oh, they... The wings molds die? It's weird. Why are the saw... saw blades giant? I just noticed that. <laughs> Making the saw blades bigger. Love it. Oops. Why? Why did I do that? I was spawning, dude. Come on. Um. <laughs> uh, maybe I give myself. Hmm. Yeah, grub song, maybe. Because that'll let me D dark for high frames versus the. against the light. Why? Why did I go there? No. <laughs> I should C dash stall, but. No, I could have made that. I just needed to dash. Why did I jump? Oh. I should use stalwart shell for this. It's okay. I Interesting circles. <laughs> it's probably not something you get to say every day. Congrats to your boyfriend, though. That's awesome. <laughs> I should just not do that. <laughs> what am I even trying to say? I should just not get it. Duh. That thing I just did where I got hit? Yeah. Not that. Don't do that. Oh, the saw blades are bigger so I can't Squeeze in there. Dude, why? Oh, I made it! Yeah, that was good timing. Why are they faster? You... They made them faster in that specific section with no warning? Wait. They're just faster all the time now. What? Why? Wait, are, am I, have I gone crazy? No, it's the same speed, is it? Oh my god, I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> I'm completely losing my mind. <laughs> I've lost it. If I have ever had it. Why did I spawn back down there? Game. You. No. <laughs> this is not okay. I am not okay. Ah, oh, congrats, Kindergartus. That's awesome. Proud of you.
No. <laughs> that almost worked. Oh, I got, I got the hazard respawn at least. I need to intentionally get. I just got comboed for like six damage. <clears throat> I need to intentionally go and get that hazard respawn, like ASAP. Not that quickly. Doesn't need to happen that quickly. is like very tricky like this part on the wall here <sighs> I had the timing but oh it doesn't shoot while you're like uh... while, you, while you don't have control of your character it won't shoot anything okay Okay, this is not as bad as I thought. Still bad, but not, not as bad as expected. Is that faster than before? It almost seems like it. Yeah, that's gotta be faster. That's really fast. <sighs> Good luck, Andre. You got this. do the dash slash skip when I don't have it. Yeah, Vampy actually did uh, an incentive for her birthday stream to do Path of Pain, so she's going to be doing it. I think she's doing it in Discord? Like in her Discord? E Thank god. I wasn't sure about that timing anymore because it's been so long since I've done that. <clears throat> and I think she's doing a Pantheon 5 stream soon. Oh. Should have made Vampy do Path of Pain and have the proposal at the end of it. It's like the least romantic thing ever. <clears throat> maybe, maybe if she enjoyed platforming. I think she enjoys platforming but finds it kind of frustrating, which is valid. So do I, sometimes. Ow. Like, now. <laughs> like, like, right now. <laughs> I am so... Why is the saw blade there? My brain cannot wrap its its head. <laughs> my my brain is toast. It's long gone. Yeah, thank you, Manatee. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's generally best not to talk about your own streams too much in other people's streams. Because it does kind of come across like that. Even if it's not intentional. Because some people do actually do that on purpose. To try and get people into their stream. Even though, like, it doesn't really work. <laughs> Don't work that way. Oops. Jesus. All good. No worries. If I could see the beams a little bit better, it wouldn't be so bad, but I'm like, I don't... can't see the beams very well. Because I, I could at least react to them and move, like, left to right a little bit. Make, like, a little micro-adjustment. Oh my god, what am I doing? Turn the gamma down, yeah. Need to change my monitor settings so I can do this. What? <laughs> Why did I nail slash instead of jump? Oops. lurk in people's streams, so it's kind of accurate, to be honest. Yeah, I can do the rest of this. There's lots of players. There's actually a lot of players in Hollow Knight who are super talented that don't get that much, like, <laughs> recognition. everything locked <laughs> why isn't why are all the benches locked okay so probably just shaman stone spell twister <laughs> maybe quick slash I don't know I'll try Shaman Stone. We gotta... We just gotta do in THK and Radiance. Should be easy. I enjoy the Turquoise Infection. <laughs> it's a nice touch. Void Heart, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Oops, totally forgot. <laughs> Oh, I should have got the Black Egg Temple bench while I was there. Oops, King Soul. Isn't it interesting how Shaman Stone has the same charm notch cost as King Soul? E5, all bindings hitless nail only next stream. I don't know if anyone's gonna do P5 all bindings. Nail only hitless. I feel like the collector would be too tough. Because you really need spells for the collector. 
and like GPZ and some other fights that are like notoriously difficult on all bindings. Also, E5 is really cool, but to be honest, E5 is kind of tedious, like for challenge runs. Actually, in general, it kind of is. Just because of how much you have to get through, that's kind of like trivial in the beginning compared to the ending. That's why P5 challenges are like not my favorite thing. Even casually, it's kind of got the same problem. I wonder if there's going to be something in the birthplace. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if someone was doing it. Especially, there's a lot of people in the Chinese community who do P5 challenge runs. Lots of super talented people. For not being a dummy and acting like you can tank the Oro in Motto Fight. Well, I mean... There's nothing wrong with tanking that fight. <laughs> Just... Make sure to deal back as much damage as you're getting dealt. This cutscene looks cool with like the slightly blue tint. <laughs> cutscene? Area? I don't know. There's nothing cool in this scene. Oh, I would have I would have expected something extremely cruel. <laughs> It's like the impossible birthplace map that I made, maybe. Just throw it in here. <clears throat> I like to use a lot of, like, Pogo Descending Dark in the Oro Mono fight. Um, once you get a little bit more precise at the controls, you can... Uh, use a lot of Shriek when you're right beside them, and that's pretty effective, too. Okay, we got Void Art. Yo, thanks so much, Andre. Holy shit. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the generosity, and for the congrats. Congrats is totally Andrew correct. Andrew Sate TMS donated $54.83. BTW Fire, I wanted to say happy birthday and congrats on your wedding. Not English, to know what the saying is. <laughs> That's totally correct. Thank you so much, Andre. Really appreciate it. And good luck with Grim. With NKG, you got this. Kick some ass. Oh, you couldn't get Decoration Master to work? Uh, the mod works on current patch, but it's a little bit tricky to get functioning properly, unfortunately. Mod is mod definitely has some jank to it. Okay, let's do THK. Wonder how many THKs are going to spawn. <laughs> Never down patched. You shouldn't have to down patch for Deco Master. Any Radiance is also on current patch. Some of the other Radiances are not. But... Oh, why isn't Invincibility Monitor working? Oh, I got sniped. Oh my god. 
I'm getting owned by some not so great patterns. This one's not too bad, though. Yeah. Purple THK. Tried to get in between them. Oops, tried to get in between them again. Yeah, Hue Shifter in these areas is... it really looks neat. Alright. to Shade Cloak. I should not try to damage tank, because I do not get a heal after this. <laughs> that, I got punished for that very quickly. I was playing well at the beginning, though. <clears throat> I don't know about Spell Twister. Is there anything better? Like, Stalwart Shell... Maybe? No, oh, I don't want to take too much damage in that fight anyway. Mm. I think Spell Twister's pretty good. How many people... I think it says right here, actually, on this... on the World Sense tablet. Cranky Templar, Eloki, Big Men, Nexo, Parkour Men, and Zuggo. Six people. Okay. Thought it was five. Alright. Okay, see ya totally. Thanks for hanging out.
this one's going into Radiance phase. Only need to beat one. Can I show the new custom boss? No, you can check the other stream for it. <sighs> Knew I had to watch out for that, but. I was trying to get in between the swords. It's a tricky fight, but after I'm done with the first phase, it should be a lot easier, I think. And the good thing about Absolute Radiant, Absolute Radiance, regular Radiance, is that it doesn't have, have much HP. Foxtail. Thanks, Rochan. I feel like this fight is laggier than before. I should just keep relying on Descending Dark for this fight. Oh my god. Is <laughs> I Descending Dark into their mask? Come on. Phase. Okay. Ah, uh, should not take damage instantly like that. with this one if I leave. Oh. 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 <laughs> I can't believe I died there. Oops. <laughs> um, awkward. Yo, thanks a lot, Gandalf. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sorry I'm missing out on chat. Gift to distract you. Okay. Valid. Actually didn't even notice until after. <laughs>
I want to make sure to get extra soul here, so I have some at the beginning of the fight. I, yeah, I'm not sure where you can find that info. Okay, I need to be careful on the third shriek. One hit, but I think this is still doable. sword just blocked my left and right movement. <laughs> I need to not take damage immediately. Yo, thanks so much, Marisol. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. frame RNG. Oh. <laughs> Good I frame RNG again. That's funny. I don't have as much soul as I'd like, but... Pattern. These are many tricky patterns. Why? <laughs> Why did I get such difficult patterns that time? Jesus Christ. Damage taking to spikes on regular Radiance is a lot trickier because, like, with any Radiance it's viable because you have, like, pretty obvious cues when to damage tank. Not always, but there's some attacks that are just, like, a million times harder to dodge than others. But I will keep that in mind. So laggy. It's not like there's that much going on. Oops. Yeah. What? 
<laughs> Let me in. Okay, good. What? What? Where did that come from? What the fuck? some tough patterns and I wasn't even sure where one of those orbs came from <clears throat> thing is like if the orb spawns right next to you it's not like it doesn't have a oh wait what am I trying to say never mind forget it I'm just coping <laughs> ignore me Holy shit. <laughs> YouTube thumbnail moment. Actually, I already have a thumbnail. This is a stream. Folks a lot donated two dollars. Good luck and happy birthday. Okay, that THK is done. This THK is also done. Okay. Good. Get the... Get the... <laughs> Thanks a lot, sir. Pogs a lot. HP. Come on. I did the jump, but it got interrupted by one of those horizontal lasers. That jump is like guaranteed to work on normal radiance, or there aren't horizontal beams. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just get it again. It's a kind of cool uh, climb phase. It's like more challenging, but definitely not too difficult. That was iframes. Not toggling invincibility, I swear. Sometimes the game just lags and gives you full jumps, even though you let go of A. Get the... Yeah. <sighs> oh. 
I am getting owned by the beam barrage. Well, <laughs> do the rest hitless, I guess. Can I do custom boss after this? I already, I already said, check the stream. I think I would get at that attempt because didn't have much HP after the first phase. Hey, I'm actually pretty surprised we got God Soul today. I thought it would be a two stream thing for sure. And y'all probably know by now, if I don't do something in the first stream, it never happens. So. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone, for the GGs and for all the support today. Really appreciate y'all a lot. That was fun. Like, uh, the mod, there was a lot less, like, unique content as we kind of went along. Especially if you look at, like, Beast End, for example, there's, like, pretty much nothing. The early game is a lot more fun in God's Soul, but the Absrad fight, Absrad? Rad Radiance fight is actually pretty fun. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm much better at gaming than I am at articulating my thoughts. <laughs> oh, nice, Loki. GG to you as well. Sushi time. Yes. Post stream hours are always sushi time. Especially since it's uh, also my birthday, so I'm getting birthday sushi and post stream sushi. <laughs> my name on the digital plaque. Hell yeah. Best birthday gift ever. I just want to shout out, though, um, Burke and Ice-D. Bur Burke and Ice-D, that's the same person. Ice-D, who is Burke, and Fly Sky High both made some really cute fan art. Um, I don't know, fan art sounds wrong, but they made art for my birthday, which is really cute and sweet. Um, so go check them out on Twitter. Uh, I, I retweeted them, so yeah. Check that shit out. I opened my Discord, and they're me Mr. Beastifying my thumbnails. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yep. Good reminder, Manatee. Um, so... We got, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't even pretend to math right now. Uh, that's eight postcards for the raffle. Thank y'all so much for all the memberships. Really means a lot. I appreciate y'all very much. Uh, so the raffle will happen through my Discord, so make sure to join my Discord, um, and connect your YouTube account so that you can get access to the raffle channel when I make it. It's not available yet, but it will be soon, uh, probably within the next day. And we will hold the raffle um, using some kind of Discord bot. I saw there's like a few of them that work, so. Um, yeah, anyone who's a member or a Twitch sub is eligible to join the raffle. Even if you got your membership gifted, you're still eligible. Thank you all so much for the happy birthdays. 
Y'all are way too kind. <laughs> Gandalf the White donated one dollar and forty nine cents. Thanks a lot, Gandalf. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Kiyosuke, as well. So the postcard, um, I'm gonna be raffling Ooh. eight of them. Kiyosuke donated lot, five Kiyosuke. dollars. Happy birthday and congrats on your upcoming wedding. Enjoy the sushi too. <laughs> Purple I heart, will. Black heart. Um, the postcard, it's going to be a Hollow Knight postcard. I can actually grab them and show you. So... Let me go full screen. This is artwork by Fly Sky High. That's for the Path of Pain video. Um, this is the any rate. It's upside down. Why? Oh, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want the green screen to be active right now. <laughs> One sec. Uh, activate non-green screen. So there's the green screen behind me. Here's the uh, Any Radiance postcard. And this is by Rubber Ducky, the uh, green, uh, green Path Babies. And wait, I'm missing one. Oh, here's the other Rubber Ducky postcard. Super cute. Beautiful artwork. And some of the stickers. got a bunch of them. These are just emotes, emote stickers. So if you uh, win one of the postcards, then you'll also get a handful of stickers as well. Pretty much as many as I can stick in the envelope um, before costing extra postage. <laughs> because they have to be under 30 grams, otherwise I have to use another stamp. Which ends up getting costly with international uh, international shipping. But yeah, the uh, artwork is great. Mostly uh, ducky, rubber ducky artwork. She's such a an amazing artist. Uh, but yeah, uh, join the Discord if you want to enter the raffle. I'm gonna be raffling eight of those postcards and stickers. Uh, now, this is the end of the stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks all, thanks everyone for sticking around. And mods, manatee, thank you very much for all the help. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, is there anyone we should raid? I mean, we can't really raid anyway. So <laughs> this is YouTube. Stop, stop pretending we can raid. Go watch another Hollow Knight streamer on Twitch or something. And have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone. I appreciate y'all a lot.